Okay, guys, this is Arcanum, and this would be my second video playthrough of Arcanum. Um, it's a great game, and um, yeah, I, they don't really make games like this anymore, I guess. Uh, hold on, I'm just checking my settings here. Oh, follower skills. Probably, yeah. Probably need to turn that off, actually. So, module Arcanum. So, this was. Buried secret stuff match, just he... Oh, really? I didn't know there was anything... Anything here in the modules. Huh. Okay, we're playing the regular Arcanum. Difficulty... Hard as it can go, it's on hard. Violence filter off, let's see. That doesn't matter, we'll switch back and forth between turn-based and real-time. Great game, like I said. Um... Magic is a little overpowered, and last time I played Magic... Um, this time I'm going to play tech. Um, let me talk about that a little bit. Hold on, let me up the brightness just a little bit, too. So, yeah, last time I played tech, however, I was thinking of going for a gun, um, a gun user, right? But... I tried it out, and I realized I really don't like the guns in this game. So, like, you can't really snipe. I guess you can snipe people, but but not really. There's a very limited range on the guns. I mean, I think the longest range gun has a... You can shoot people at, at still a fairly close distance, like maybe, like maybe a full screen away. And that's not a very good gun to use, so you're probably going to use something that's going to shoot people from, like, half a screen away, right? Guns have their range. If you if you try to target somebody with a gun outside your range, you just run up to them, and it's really annoying. So I tried the gun thing, um, doing, like, some, some testing, and I'm like, I don't like that. So here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do a technology guy, but... Um, and not not with guns. Let's put it that way. We're gonna use melee. Um, we're gonna do a dwarf like fighter character. We're gonna use uh, let's see, on the tech side, I think I'm gonna use some uh, medical arachnids. Um, what else? I think that's about it. I might. I, I might go down the uh, smithy tree, maybe, or the, um, I forgot what the tree's called, but I might go down another tree, but I'm definitely going down mechanics. Other than that, probably nothing. Probably just pump up my character. I'm going to make a beast of a character. Um, he's going to be maybe solo, maybe with one other guy. I could probably, I could probably take two guys along with me. I'm not sure who that would be. Um, I've made before, not, not on video, but I've made a large party before, and I didn't like it, because, uh, this game has a mechanic where if you critically fail, a lot of times people will drop their weapon, or kill themselves outright, you know, you can critically fail so bad you just, you know, completely kill yourself, and then you have to resurrect them, and it's just... It's just, if you have, like, seven characters, it's too much to keep track of. It's like, okay, who dropped their weapon? You know, I have to go pick it up because they're too stupid to go pick it up themselves. Uh, it's, it's, it's more of a hassle than it's worth to me, in, in my opinion. So, I'm running with a small party. Maybe just me and, and uh, some medical arachnids. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I'm not, like, 100% on how I'm going to do this. I'm going to be a dwarf. Uh, dwarves, dwarves have a crippling penalty in terms of they spend twice as much stamina for casting magical spells. That's crippling in some cases. There's some workarounds, though. Like, um, I can, uh, because, uh, I like to use, I like to use teleport, the spell teleport. I mean, that's, that's godly. You don't want to be without that. So, if your main character is a dwarf, it's like, oh. You're going to spend twice the amount of stamina for teleport. That sucks. But guess what? Well, we can... we can. Um, first of all, we can get a lot of stamina. S second of all, we can actually focus in that... There is a place that we can focus in that school of magic. 
and have the cost. So that all, you know, that makes it okay. We're not going to use any of their spells, so so what about the stamina? Dwarves actually get a lot of penal or a lot of bonuses though. Um, strength plus one, Constitution plus one. That's nice. Dexterity seven. However, um, there's dwarven gauntlets that you can steal off a guy, and that that gives you like four bonus stats, and then. I mean, I'm going to get, like, a lot of bonus stats. Now, yeah, a lot of bonus stats because I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be cheesing the game like I usually do. But um, is there any female dwarf, by the way? Oh, there's no female female dwarf. Yeah, they, they mentioned that in the game. Like, you never see the female dwarves, and it's like a big joke or something. I was just seeing if they actually let you do that. Oh, um, so I'm also using, like... Um, the latest user patch, Drogs patch, which is 2.0 something. Um, and uh, one of the reasons why it took so long to get this video out was uh, not only had have I not played this game all the way through in like 10 years or something like that, um, there a lot of the exploits that I used in my previous playthrough have been fixed now with that patch. So I had to go through the game and figure out what I could still get away with. Um, Anyway, uh, it turns out I can still get away with a lot. Um, there were things that were fixed, but they have new workarounds. So, <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, alright. Uh, so, let's just go ahead and pick a nice-looking portrait. No way. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Let's pick that one. We name ourselves Chris. Um, let's pick a background here. So, I'm going to pick a background that docks my charisma by... Oh, I don't know, quite a few points. I think four points. And then increases my willpower by six points. It also docks uh, Persuasion and Haggle, I think. Let's see, where is it? Mm, there it is. Uh, only child. You grew up as an only child of very permissive parents, and you basically always got your way as an adult. You expect nothing less than total obedience from those around you. Gaining a bonus to willpower, plus six, but your temperament leaves much to be desired, resulting in penalties to your charisma, minus four, your persuasion and Hegel, Hegel skills. Okay, so, I don't need persuasion. I can actually get a fair amount of persuasion because there's a bonus that I get later that gives me some persuasion. Um, and Hegel doesn't matter. Um, Hegel's just for getting money. Basically, the way I'm going to play is I'm going to get enough money without Hegel. So, uh, the minus four to persuasion. Like I said, persuasion, we're going to play in a way that we don't need persuasion in the beginning. Later on, when we do get a bonus to persuasion, it'll be enough. We, we won't, we won't have a lot of persuasion, but we'll get enough. Um, anyway. At the, you're going to see me just cheese the hell out of this game like usual uh all right so there we go only child the the bonus plus six points that's huge and i do need bonus in, in willpower for uh for spells because well the the teleport spell basically it's like i said living without teleport is horrible it's crippling the game is huge um walking everywhere is is unbearable in my opinion anyway so all right, so what do we do? We can do, uh, hmm. Actually, we don't need to put anything in anything right now. We could put a little bit in Dodge and Melee. Let me see here. I gotta mentally run through exactly how I'm gonna do things. Uh, I might, you know what? I'm not gonna put anything in anything right now. I'm just gonna leave everything blank. Um, so there we go. Now, let's see here, we're probably... I usually buy the Rapier, because that's probably the best weapon out of this bunch here. Let's see, and I'll buy some lockpicks, because we're going to need those. And a Copper Ring, we're going to need one Copper Ring. Uh, you could maybe buy yourself a Boomerang and do something... I'm probably just going to end up hurting myself, though, with a boomerang. So, we're just going to skip that. Yeah, I also got a rifle. I actually get a little bit of a bonus. Oh, that's, well, that's expensive. Uh, never mind. 
<laughs> it doesn't matter. It's too expensive. I will get... Um, yeah, I can get some bullets later. I'll, I'll get a gun, which will allow me to do some range damage. And I have a little bit in uh, firearms, because I'm a dwarf. Dwarves start with a little bit of uh, tech aptitude, or uh, plus two to all their tech skills. I'm going to go ahead and watch the, uh, the intro here. Help me, please. Oh, thank you, my friend. I haven't got much time. <coughs> you must find the boy. Find the boy and give him back his ring. Now he will know what needs to be done. <coughs> now listen, listen to me. We had to do it. He did unspeakable things to us. We, we had no choice but to do as he said. There are so few of us left, but the work is almost finished. And then the evil, oh, you can't imagine. He's coming back to destroy everything, everything and everyone. Please, just find the boy. <coughs> Tell him that I escaped. I came back to warn. <clears throat> he will know what to do. You, my friend, it's all up to you. I can't believe it. I mean, you and and then the zeppelin and, and the fire. And the altar says that... Do you have any idea what all of this means? What are you going on about? You speak! I, I mean, of, of course you speak. What am I, a blathering idiot? Wait, what, what did you say? Maybe I should be writing all of this down. Uh, I'd like to help you out here, but I'm a bit confused. I am at a loss here. I, I, I don't quite know what to do. Uh, I mean, you are the... Oh, of course you are. I mean, you do know who you are, right? Of course you do. What, what, what sort of brainless, half-baked question is that for the, the, uh, the, uh, what, 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 what do you call yourself? Please, sir, slow down and tell me what it is that you're saying. Please, forgive me. I, I'm making a bloody mess of this whole affair. My name is Virgil, sir, and I'm new to the Panari religion, uh, your religion, and I... Oh, 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 wait! I... Uh, hereby dedicate, no, no, uh, commit my life to the living one. I, Virgil, am at your service, sir. What do you mean, living one? You quit speaking in riddles. Yes, yes, of course. You see, you're him. I, I mean, the, uh, the reincarnation of, uh, uh what's his name? I, I can never remember. And, and I, I'm always getting mixed up with the other fellow, the, the bad one. You, um, well... 
You know how all of those old elven names sound the same. <laughs> uh, hmm. I don't think I'm quite getting the gist of it, old boy. Yes, right. Uh, just give me a moment here. You, you see, the Panari, that's the religion that was formed around the things that he said. I, I mean, that you said. Oh, forget it. Let, let's start at the beginning. Or this beginning, since there is a lot more that came before this. You are the reincarnation of a powerful elf who the Panari worship and whose name is, uh... Yes? Right. Yes, uh, the name. Uh, wait. I remember something. It is written in the scriptures. The living one will live again on wings of fire. No, 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 wait. I think it says, reborn on wings of fire. Oh, blood and ashes. Why do elves always have to be so damn cryptic? Do the scriptures speak of a dying gnome and a ring? Hmm, I don't know about the ring, but this business about the evil one returning. Oh, as I've said, I don't know a whole lot about the Panari prophecies, but I think you were supposed to return and fight someone evil. Ah, uh, bloody hell, I should know more of this. Uh, so I'm meant to be some great religious figure. That's ludicrous. Look, I understand this whole thing sounds ridiculous, especially with you being dwarven. But let me just accompany you down the mountain to Shrouded Hills. I can introduce you to my mentor, Elder Joaquin. He can explain this all better than I can. I'm rather new to this whole Panari thing myself. The Panari? What is that? The Panari are a religion based on the belief that you will return to destroy evil or, or something like that. No, wait. I think there's someone you're meant to fight. You know, that... that other fellow. The evil one. Oh, it's, it's all so elven, wrapped up in fancy language and metaphors and all that. Uh, look, you've been really helpful, but I must go. I told you I was new with this. Imagine the way I must feel. Here you are, the chosen one, or living one, and, and I can't even remember who you're supposed to be. Please. Just follow me to Shrouded Hills, and we'll talk to the Elder Joachim. He's very knowledgeable about the Panari, and will know much better what to do. Well, let's go talk to this Joachim fellow and straighten this out. The path out of here leading down to Shrouded Hills is down to the southeast. We'll stop by the Panari Shrine on the way out, see if it makes any of this any more clear. We should look for any other survivors before we leave, though. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I couldn't care less about these unlucky buggers. Let's go. Um, my playthrough is, I, I might have a high alignment, but I'm going to be damn evil. I mean, I'm going to be very opportunistic. Um, no, okay. Might as well pick that up. We need this. This camera is really important. Um, thermometer, I guess. Wait, maybe. I'll pick it up. Uh, metal plates, no, no. Uh, let's see here. Ba -ba 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 -ba. We have to go in this this cave over here. Kadara stem. Yep, I think so. Oh wait, I didn't give him my uh, item, did I? Ah crap. We okay. We're gonna have to uh, finish this this fight first. Looks like. I need to give him this sword because using his staff is just terrible. And for some reason, he thinks the staff is better than the sword. Besides, staff being way slower and doing way less damage. Anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and give it a good old save. There is um, uh, another reason why I don't like playing with a party. The no auto save. So if they do do something like blow themselves up or uh, drop their weapon and then you leave the area, um, it's like, oh, God, where was the last save point? And, you, you know, you reload like, you know, somewhere like 30 minutes back. It's horrible. No auto save. It's, um... Yeah, this was, uh, they don't make them like this anymore, like I said. Auto save, I think, was a thing that came later. Throw that in there. I'll take this and this. And I'm not gonna pick up any of that. Okay, this and this. Two iron ore, that's fine. Please help me. What happened to you? I was cursed by an evil priest. My name is Charles 
Brego. My friend and I asked for, uh, only for something to eat. Something, some sustenance. We were poor, wandering, and he cursed us. My friend, cursed with madness, attacked me, killed me. The pain. I'm cursed to be held in this realm, unable to be released. Please, I need your help. Um, what is that you would have me do? Need to kill the priest, Arbala. He lives here. He points on the map. Only his death will free me. Um, of course, justice must prevail. Uh, alright, so, dynamite. Dynamite's really good. This is really good. Explosives are actually really good in this game. I'll take the bullets, too, since they're free. Um, this doesn't sell for much, so I'm not even going to bother picking it up. It's just going to weigh me down. So last time that I played through this, I did some real cheese, and some people complained. I I uh, took advantage of um, the first uh, the first junk dealer. I gained access to his place and just uh, ripped off his money and waited for his money to grow. It was a little cheesy, I agree, but here's the thing: you kind of have money in this game, um, at least in the beginning, right? Um, later on, maybe not once you've got all your gear. But you gotta get that somehow. There's several ways to do it. Um, you can do it cheesy like I did, or you can do it like, you know, you make something and then you sell it. You make something and you sell it. You buy the parts for it. You, you know, you repeat that. But that's kind of, that's really tedious. I mean, I'm not going to be, like, I'm not going to be ripping off that particular shopkeeper. I'm going to be ripping off a bunch of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> all over the place so i mean i'm not gonna do the thing even though i'm playing a tech guy i'm not gonna do the thing where i'm gonna make like uh eye gear and sell it and then make eye gear and sell it it's it's just I, i'd rather not do that it's 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 boring um so i'm not gonna be as cheesy as last time but you know i'm not gonna you know i'm not going to not uh take advantage of some opportunities to steal steal money. Let's put it that way. I mean, there's several places in the game later on where you'll get the, uh, you know, the ability to get some really high quality items that you can sell, but it's pretty far off, and I kind of to make the game flow um, you know, without too many hiccups, I kind of need to, uh, I kind of need to get some money earlier than that is the problem. So, but anyway, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. It's, um, it's not too bad, trust me. Um, I'm going to earn, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to earn my, uh, my ill-gotten gains by, uh, being clever, I guess. The altar should clear things up for us a bit. Hmm. It says, uh... And the spirit of Nazaruddin shall be reborn on wings of fire in hills shrouded in fog, and fight the last battle with the evil one. The evil one? Who's that? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I don't know. <laughs> I guess we better find out, considering you're supposed to fight him. Um, whatever. This gets more ridiculous as we go I on. I know you might not believe in all this, but I do. Might you show me a little more respect? You can leave whenever you feel the urge to do so. Well, maybe I will, you... No, that's going to get us nowhere. Fine. Say whatever you'd like. I suppose you're entitled to your opinion. <laughs> you can abuse the hell out of Virgil. And he's still... He, he won't leave. Hold on, what are you doing up here? Ah, uh, who are you to ask? What are you doing here? I mean no disrespect, sir, but I don't trust this bastard one bit. Bloody convenient he just happened to show up here just now, don't you think? Oh, excuse my language, uh, sir. What do you recommend, Virgil? I've uh, dealt with buggers, uh, <laughs> individuals like this before. Perhaps you'll let me talk with him for a few minutes. Of course, feel free to do so. Thank you. Uh, I'll take care of this. <clears throat> you there? What exactly are you doing up here? And what gives you the right to ask so many questions? 
I'm just asking a simple question. What are you two doing up here? I'm from Shrouded Hills, a village not far from here. I witnessed this terrible accident. It is such a crime to wonder, is it some, such a crime to wonder what's going on? Oh, really? Listen, I came from Shrouded Hills myself. It's at least a day's journey from here. There's no way you could have traveled here that fast. I think you're lying, sir. I didn't come from Shrouded Hills just now. I was camping not far from here and saw the blaze. Why are you questioning me? I've done you no harm. No, I don't think you understand. I'm asking the questions here, and I don't like your answers. I'm going to ask you one more time. Why are you here? A cold look comes across the man's face. I don't recommend you speak to me that way, friend. I've just asked a question, and I'm expecting an answer. He looks at you, then back to Virgil. We can make this simple or more difficult. Oh, I think difficult is the best way, sir. I find that there's fewer questions afterwards. I'm ready to begin this discussion whenever you are. The man seems unsure what to do. You see fear in his eyes. Perhaps this is a discussion we'll have later, friend. I'm sure that this issue will be resolved in time. He looks at you, nodding, and his eyes burning uh, a burning hatred. Good day to you, sir. Ah, uh, yes, good day to you, then. <laughs> that, that was close. What do you mean, Virgil? He's obviously scared of you. That man very well could have killed us both. Believe me, I've seen his kind before. So why did you provoke him? It was all bluster. I'm no bloody warrior. But sometimes you have to be able to act the part. You learn such things on, on well, um, it's just something I've learned. Fear is a powerful weapon. Something is very wrong here. I think we'd best get out of here as soon as possible. Well, let's go then. All right, so we're actually not going to Shrouded Hills yet. We're going to Arbala's house. Um, he's sleeping right now, so we're gonna have to wait till morning. So remember that guy that uh, whose spirit told us that he was uh, wrongly murdered by this guy. We're gonna have a talk with this guy. Yes, my son. Who are you? The wizened old priest seems to be in some pain. I'm Arbala. He winces, and you are? I'm Chris. Well, Chris, what bring you, brings you to my humble farm? I've been set here by Brego's spirit. He smiles. He's dead already. How sad. He sent you to finish what he did not. Already? Finish what he started? What are you speaking of? I'm surprised his path ended so soon after, after he shattered mine. Uh, after I had offered them food and drink, he and his friend Farkas, I believe his name was, ransacked my house from whatever they could. When they finally fo uh, found one object of any value, a sacred holy artifact, they killed my family and left me for dead as well. So you cursed them? He winces in pain. Once again, I retired from the priesthood some years ago, but uh, it was all I could think to do. In my pain and grief, their souls will never leave this plane of existence. Uh, and the curse of Mandus that caused Farkas to kill Brego? No, I believe that it was a curse of greed. If I had to guess, Farkas decided that he didn't want to share the ill-gotten gains with anyone. Despicable people. Um, <laughs> that was a great story, but I need to kill you not. No, he actually gives you a blessing that'll kind of offset some of my uh, negative reaction. Um, well, actually, no, no. I No, I have pretty good beauty, actually. It's my charisma. No, uh, he gives you a blessing that gives you plus reaction, so it's it's worth doing his quest first. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for your kind words, but there's something else. I need to recover the sacred artifact they stole. It's very important to me. I need to pray to my gods effectively. Did Brago say anything? Did he give a clue as to where it might be? No, he did not. He hobbles closer to you. I know it's none of your affair, but could you assist me in trying to locate what is rightfully mine? It's the least I could do. Any idea where I should start? Excellent. Perhaps our friend, the late uh, Mr. Brago, would have some information he could impart to you regarding the location of my sacred possession. He smiles at you warmly. I appreciate your kindness, although I regret I have nothing to give you for your help. I'll return when I've retrieved uh, your property, sir. All right, so we have to go back to him, the dude, and uh, call him out. Hey, bro. Bad news. 
add some ginkgo root right there. We will get a player or a, I'm sorry, player, an NPC, RPC, whatever, um, that can use those and make healing solves. So that's why I'm picking those up. I, uh, I had a conversation with Arbala. You are a liar, my friend. Ha! But I almost had you killing him for me. Ha! The pain. Tell me where Farkas is. Why should I tell you I will still be here for an eternity? Did you want revenge on your killer? Why would I care? I would have done the same to him if he had not been faster. Regardless, I will still be here. I will convince Ar Arbala to release you if you help me. Lie. Ha <laughs> ha. You would, wouldn't you? If there is one thing about you noble types is that you do the right thing, even if it kills you. Very well. Anything to be released from this pain. He points to a location on your map. Farkas is here. Okay. I'm not going to tell him. I'm not going to tell him I lied there because we're going to betray both of them. This is known as the double cross for maximum, for maximum experience points. You don't actually get any, like, penalty for killing Arbala. Um, so, other than it being kind of a seedy thing to do, uh, it's um, it's the best way to do this. For uh, experience maximization, anyway. Simon Farkas Shizhak. Okay. Um, I'm going to save because this guy, I mean, he might get a critical hit or something and screw me up. Hello. You must be lost, dwarf. You don't belong here. Okay. That's it, bro. Uh-oh. Yeah, get, get out. Get out of there. Two against one, and one of us has a sword. <laughs> Where am I? The pain, please release me. You're dead. What? No. Yes. Oh, and you are cursed to be trapped here forever. Ah. Please, no. All right. So we got Arbala's sacred object. We're going to go give that back to him for his little uh, blessing. Always an honor. I've retrieved your artifact. Give it to him. Ah, uh, thank you. As I, I thank you as do the spirits of my ancestors. I must admit to having lied to you before. Well, he smiles kindly. Uh, I do have something to give you. Something to measure, of immeasurable value. I bestow my blessing upon you. Everyone you meet from now will, uh, will react more favorably towards you than perhaps they did in the past. Thank you kindly, sir. Okay, yeah, um... Uh, reaction modifier minus two. It was, I think, minus ten. Um, and now we murder him in cold blood. And he can sometimes kick your butt, depending on what happens. So, save. Like that. Ah, yeah. He just decided to... Sometimes he does that, sometimes he doesn't. Let me see if I have, like, anything sharp to stab him with. I guess I don't, huh? Yep. He has harm. And some, it's like, sometimes he'll use it, sometimes he won't. And sometimes... Sometimes Virgil will heal me, sometimes he won't. Sometimes you have critical misses. Ah, there you go. He's dead. Now we murdered him. Actually, I don't really need that. That doesn't really sell for much. Uh, the robes, don't really need those. And we still have our blessing, by the way. We still have Arbala's blessing, even though we murdered him and he's dead. Now let's go back to the crash site and uh, tell this guy that we murdered Arbala. For a level. Oh, by the way, booze or wine, I guess. Uh, wine will actually increase your strength and decrease your dexterity. Not that I ever use it, but um, I guess if you want to 
you know get your strength just a little bit higher i guess you could let you know let's say you're close to 20 strength and you need plus two more uh the spirit appears to be in great pain please i beg of you the pain i've completed your task arbala is dead begins laughing maniacally ah ha 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 what's so amusing you fool, you've released me and completed my revenge from beyond the grave. I want you to know I laughed as I gutted Arbala's family. They begged for mercy. You're now a party to the slaughter of innocents. Fairly well. On the contrary, I enjoy killing innocents myself. And I got a level. <laughs> I'm going to be I'm going to be killing way more innocents than that. He just got a few. I'll be getting like a hundred. Um. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm gonna pick up this. I'm, actually, I'm gonna see this. I remember. I remember trying this out before. So strength nine. All right. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. It's just plus one and minus one. Okay. Yeah. But that's something interesting to know. Like you can stack. Uh, you can stack bonuses from temporary power ups to get yourself pretty high in your stats. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. That's yet another stat bonus. I think that stacks with the other stuff. Anyway, that's for later. Should wear off by the time we get in town, so I have to be so slow. Dwarves, that, that minus one dexterity is... Um, you can overcome that. You can still get to 20 dexterity, but, uh, you know, it kind of hurts. Being slower kind of hurts. Helder Joachim is staying at the inn next to the bank. Um, should I do that now? No, I'm going to go... Well, let's see. Should I do that now? I think I'm going to skip pretty much everything. I'm going to skip everything. Uh, well, okay, yeah, let's do that now, actually. Let's not skip that, at least. Um, I, let's see, Dodge Melee. I'm going to put one of these for now. Can you train me as an apprentice? Dodge. Okay, how much money do I actually have? Do I actually have any money? Hold on. I need to get some more money. I'm, I'm coming up on a battle here. I might as well get a little bit more dough. Okay, I'm Ristasaur, importer of fine goods and rarities from all over the world. Nowhere will you find a more incredible assortment of fantastical oddities from the four corners of, a car of a canon, our canon and beyond. You're looking for something specific, yes? Um, fascinating, could you answer a few questions? What can Ristasaur do for you? Let's barter. Um, I'm just going to see if I can sell some crap here. What can I sell just to get myself over the top here? Uh, maybe nothing. Um, you know what? Screw that. I remember that there's some money in this chest over here. Joachim's room is at the end of the hall on the left. Good God! What's happened here? These men, I, I've never seen them before. Virgil, I assume you're not alone. As you can see, there are people in Shrouded Hills looking for me. Luckily for me, these fellows were easily dispatched. Do not speak with anyone about the Zeppelin crash or your com new companion's involvement with it. When you are able to make your way to Tarant, check the telegram's office. I will leave a message telling you where to contact me. Joaquin. Sorry to interrupt, but it seems Joaquim has discovered something. These individuals seem to be part of some larger plot. A plot against you. Looks that way. Tell me, Virgil, who exactly is this Joaquim? He is... well... someone who helped me out when I needed it. I met him in a small village at a Panari temple. I was, uh... a bit down on my luck. He showed me that you don't always have to take what life gives you there's always a better path and that it's always your choice to travel it what do you mean down on your luck what had happened I, I'd rather not talk about it anymore but Joaquim is a great man well versed in the ways of the Pinari and also in the ways of the world 
If he thinks we're in trouble, then we are. Let's get out of here and get to Tarant. All right, Virgil. Perhaps we'll talk about this later. Um, I'm gonna throw this in there because I don't need it. In oh, okay. I thought it was more money than that. Really? Oh, okay. Well, all right. Never mind. I'm not gonna worry about not getting enough money to get trained here. We're just going to head out, I think. I think I should be okay, right? So I have two stun grenades, and... Typically, that should be enough, on average. Um, yeah, okay, let's go. Like I said, there's, like... I'm not going to mess around here until I get the dog, I think. Pick that up. 98 coins. I don't think I can... Can I afford anything here? 48? This is, uh... This is decent. Take this? No. Okay, what about, uh, what about the haste potion? Okay, that just about, just a little bit short. Yeah, I'll take, um, I'll take these two, I guess. Let's go ahead and set up our shizzle. Should be able to do this with Virgil's help. It's kind of a, like... Yeah, it's a little bit random, you know, as to whether I'm going to win this. Okay, so who are you? Who am I? I'm Lucan, Lucan the Witless, where I roam the masses squabble in their pertrus... or per... hold on. Per... pertubicitus. Oh, my God. How are you... Per, perturb? Perturbicitus. I'm not even... I'm just going to skip that word. Holy crap. And trepidunction. You dare to pretend not to recognize me? I need to cross this bridge, Mr. Witless. Ah, yes, the bridge. That's a different matter. You see, my friends and I have found it advent... <laughs> Advenatarius. It's not advantageous. Advenatarius. To require of travelers a small toll for the use of the bridge, you can be assured the funds are beneficial to our little group here. I'm positive that it would be much easier to kill you all. You mock Luke and the witness, you will die in excruibilitating excru death. Holy crap, man. Holy crap. I'm not even sure if those are words. Okay, that was pretty nice. They all missed me. This is looking good. First thing do we do is throw a grenade. Nice. Got a good roll on that one. Are you blind? What in God's I, I, I did a critical miss, of course. Um, I'm gonna go up here. I need to get these guys both in the same kind of general area. There they are. Okay. So hopefully we hit. There we go. Now we can just beat on them. Well, they're stunned. Okay, they woke up. I'm gonna throw another one. Okay. Hopefully we have enough oomph to take this guy. Virgil's a little bit wounded here. I'm going to kind of make sure that he's doesn't get too hurt. If he gets knocked down, I can't take this guy myself, so... Jeez. Uh, this is kind of... I don't know. I can't help too much, and I don't have any more, like... Anything more to restore his stamina? Is the Are you blind? What in God's I, I mean, better luck next time. Oh, I think we lost. I just stunned myself. 
Alright, there you, sir. You need to cross this bridge. It's really a matter of how much damage does that first grenade do. Hmm. Pretty good to this guy. Okay, really close there. This looks good. This looks promising. He might knock me out, but... No! No! God! How in the world did that happen? How in the world? <laughs> be a little bit easier if I did a few more quests in town and... Um... Oh, shoot. And I had the um, I had a firearm. <sighs> that was a good hit, though. Okay, I think this is I think this is it. These these guys are pretty wounded. It's a little bit better than the last time, I think. Oh. Mm. I think they're too spread out. Okay, we got them. I think we got this guy. Third time's a charm, as they say. There we go. Yeah. Bad luck on those first two. But I was a little bit weaker than I probably should have been. Why can't I advance time? Yeah. Usually I do a little... I do some stuff in town, but I, I just wanted to go straight to, to uh, other parts of the game here. Okay, so this is um, this is good for him. It's better than his current armor. Okay, and I got the key. Let's go. I also got a faint point for uh, removing those guys. Hello, I thought we'd run into each other out here. I'm sorry, I don't believe we met. No, but I've been watching you. I watched you walk right into the town after the bimp blimp crash. I think you have something that belongs to me. A ring? Given to you by a gnome. Um, I recommend you go the hell out of my way, sir. Don't threaten me, stranger. Hand it over. You're a dead man. Uh, it was no threat. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm leaving. Okay, so, again, this guy... Should be fine, but you can get unlucky. Ah, there he goes. Okay, so... Here's a note. I'm going to... I could sell... Nah, I don't care. Alright, I was going to say I could sell those. I'm, I don't care. I only need one of those. Let's read the note. The IFS Zephyr has crashed just outside Shrouded Hills. Kill Ratcliffe if he's still alive. Uh, as we don't know who he's spoken to, kill any other survivors. Okay. And I can't, I can't actually read that uh, signature. Okay, let's go. So. We could go directly to Tur Turan... Oh, wait. No, we can't. Completely forgot about that. Um, okay. We're going back to Shrouded Hills. I can't... I could I could force Turant, I think. Completely forgot about this. Yeah, I didn't want to give him the camera because then I have to buy it back from him. But whatever. We'll give him the camera. Greedy's wrists here. Do you have a moment? What could you tell me about this ring? Show it to him. Interesting. Hmm, a finely made piece of jewelry. What exactly do you want from Ristazir? I want to ask about the imprint of P. Schuler and Sons. P. Schuler and Sons, a very important puzzle line, my friend. Uh, Ristazir has been very free with information, no? What have you to offer Ristazir? Uh, what do you want in, re in return? 
Well, Richard Sears is a collector of strange and wonderful things. Perhaps you, there are a few objects that you could add to Richard Sears' collection. What things are you looking for exactly? Two things, actually. If you were able to locate a camera, that's a technological wonder, or something of Bessie Toons, Richard Sears might tell you about P. Schuler and Sons and where you might find them. Um, I have the camera already. Let's trade. Wonderful. Richard Sears will tell you what you want to know, then. P. Schuler and Sons is a well-respected jeweler in Turant. A strange family, but they always do good business. And here, Rissa Shears shall mark Tarrant on your map as well. Their address in the city is 44 Devonshire Way. Good luck, my friend. Thank you, Rissa Shears. Good luck to you. Or good day to you. Um, okay, so, yeah. Um, I didn't want to do that because we need the camera later, and that means I'm going to have to either buy it back from him or kill him for it. Uh, but I didn't want to go in the mine and get the Bessie Toon... Boom, uh, toon boot because that's kind of a pain in the ass too. Um, what can I do for you? May I ask who you are, sir? Constable Owens, the local law uh, and order. May I be of any assistance? I have something to tell you. Um, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, see here. I solved your problem at the bridge. Nicely done. I've offered 50 gold priests for the job. Here you go. Okay. Yeah, all right, now I'm out of here. Do I actually have any money? No. Okay, cool. I'm not sure why am I going back here. I think it's longer to go down here, but we'll see. Pathfinding in this game could be better. Great game, though. I, I must say, um, it's a great game. I think this... I'm not sure if this game was actually commercially successful, but it's, it's a good game. Um, I think I'm going... Uh, I, I think I'm going down here first. Which I don't like doing without the dog, because, uh, it's freaking perilous. In fact, I'm just going to stop and save every little way, bit of the way here. Where is it? There's a wolf cave right there. Yeah, Fatigue Restorer. Okay. Yeah, so that's another dynamite. I'm going to need that dynamite, by the way. I have reasons for picking up the stuff that I'm picking up here. Um, oh, no, I don't need to go there. Sorry. Well, you know what? Um, no, I can go there later. Um, there's a. I haven't got the quest to go down there yet. I just remembered. Usually, I do more in Shrouded Hills than I did there, but I wasn't feeling it. Okay, wait till morning. Um, um, I'm gonna do something here. We're gonna go disarm unlocking cantrip. I, I need that eventually. Um, anyway, so I'll get it now because I'm going to unlock something with my with my spells here. I'm just trying to think if there's anything. Yeah, let's go down here first. Well, actually, no. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> there's, there's so much to do in this game. You, it's it's like. You gotta figure out what order you gotta do things in here. It's a little confusing. But, um, no, nah, I'm not gonna go down there yet. What we're gonna do is we're going to go up here first. I'm gonna steal something. Advance time to evening. Advance four hours. 
Okay, so this, he's, he's in here sleeping, the shopkeeper, so he shouldn't be bothering me about what I'm about to do here. And actually, I think that's his wife who's going to come in here and hop into bed. I'm going to wait for her to move. Alright. So this is locked, but like a very low level unlock will we'll, 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 um, open it. Looking glass, I don't need that, I don't need that. Mithril ore, there's, there's a use for that later. Wonder Drug, there's a use for that later for medical arachnid, which I think I'm going to be making at some point. And let's just advance time till morning. He's none the wiser. How are you doing, sir? Lady? Hmm, what can I do for you? Shall we barter? Let me just get that. Didn't notice uh, anything missing there, bro? Okay, I don't have any money anyway. Alright, that's it. Yeah, he's like, hey, good morning. Hmm, this barrel seems a little lighter. I wonder, I wonder if I have enough money. Um, let's go to Ashbury. Hold on, let me see if I have enough money. Ah, oh, 75 coins. Okay, I don't. All right, I'm going to have to go sell something. Oh, man. It sucks being broke in this game. Uh, I wonder if, wonder if he's... What will he actually take that it would not oh, I have? I'm like... I'm like 24 gold pieces away here. Let me see here. I should have stolen some money out of your thing. Uh, let's see... Oh, what, you, what will you actually buy? He's very stingy about what he'll buy. Oh, you know what? He'll buy some of these. Easy. There you go. I didn't need those anyway. Good. Um, okay, welcome to Breckenton Line. We offer rail service throughout the United Kingdom. Where do you want to go today? Uh, we want to go to... Where do we want to go? No, we want to go to Ashbury, actually. Right? Yeah, we want to go to Ashbury. Um, yeah, I can help you with that. I would like to reserve some seats. Excellent. But first, company rules require that I ask you the following questions. Answer honestly, your safety and safety of those who travel with you depend upon it. Certainly. Are you or any member of your family, partial, uh, uh, or mem any member of your party, a practitioner of magic, elven, or elven heritage? No. Are you carrying any magical items? Have you been approached and asked uh, to carry any magical items by people not traveling with your group? I'm going to lie and say no. Which of the following category best describes your physical age? Less than 100 years old. Uh, 100 to 200. Um, less than 100 years old. Are you traveling with summoned elementals animated? No. Do you have knowledge of either practice enchanted apartments? Yes, I do, but I'm going to say no. Thank you for answering these questions. You're eligible, eligible for reservations at the first class compartments. The conductor at the head of the train will help you. Yes, excellent. Reserve seats to co uh, cost 75 coins each. How many seats uh, do you, will you require for your group? Two. Uh, oh, shoot. It's 75 each. Oh, my God. <laughs> We're going to get past this part of the game where I'm I'm hurting for money in a minute. Actually, pretty soon. But for right now, boy, this is a pain in the ass. Okay, so, yeah, let's just send, sell all this stuff. i got to get to 150. Oh, my God. I'm just going to be a little bit short. Oh, no. That put me over the top. Okay, good. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not going to read that crap again. Let's go. All right, Ashbury, let's go. Announcing passengers to your compartments, please. All aboard, all aboard. Hello, are you the conductor? I'd like to board the train. Certainly, which train are you looking for? To Ashbury. Please wait a moment while I check your reservations. Yes. Check your reservations. Yes, your reservations are in order. Can we board then? You're free to board the train. We are about to leave. All aboard for Ashbury. All aboard. All right. We're in Ashbury. Good. We're going to go get the dog. 
because with the dog, I don't have to worry about getting killed while I'm traveling across the map in most of the early parts of the game. Whereas right now, I do. There are several encounters in the early parts of the game that will kill me. So the dog is over yonder here. Is a uh, Kadera stem I'm gonna pick up. Just gonna steal their plants right out from under them. Kicking the dog. This will teach you some manners, you damn dog. Why are you kicking that dog? This mangy mutt? You didn't concern yourself with him. A few more kicks and he'll not bother anyone ever again. Uh, what did he do to you? The cur went right into my house and stole my dinner right off the table. It's not the first time either. He's been skulking about for some time, but then I caught him this time. Uh, let's see. That's no reason to kill him. I, I was going to, like, I thought there was an option to say, you know, you're too fat and he probably did you a favor by stealing your food or something like that, but it's not here. <laughs> I guess maybe I'm misremembering. That's no reason to kill him. He must have been hungry. Hungry? What do I care? A ragged mud is hungry. Any beast stupid enough to steal from me is going to pay the price. Um, maybe you need to pay the price. Failing. Oh, now we don't have to get resort to violence, do we? Here, I'll give him to you. You seem to want the dog? Go ahead, it's yours. I'll just be on my way. Alright, get out of here before I change my mind. Dog is... He's not the best melee character in the game. But he might be close. And he's just what we need right now. He's level 12, way above our level. Um, once you get the dog, things are, you know, the world opens up. Okay, so, um, I can't buy this guy's stuff yet. I'm just going to move on. Now, there's an encounter here. There's this guy right here works for the Mollican's Hand. So, if I talk to him and I give him any information about myself, he'll attack me. Problem is, of course, we've got a city guard just uh, kind of moseying around over here. I'm going to wait for him to move, because if we get in a fight, he's going to attack me. Even though this guy would have attacked me first, I don't know why the guard comes in and intervenes like that. But he will, so we're going to just... Okay, that's that's a dock worker. I don't need to worry about him. But this guy has really good uh, stuff that I can get and sell. Uh, sir, what do you know, friend? I'm trying to enjoy a drink, and then you've come here to bother me. I think that's rude of you. You're going to have to be taught a lesson. Uh, nobody talks like that to me. To the death. Okay, I usually he um, he asks you where you're from, and you're, you know, you give the uh, truth, and he's like, oh, you're her, who you were looking for. Die. But he didn't do that this time. It's kind of interesting. I thought, um... I thought that's what he was going to do. Is this guy going to attack me? No. Okay, cool. Nobody saw. Cool. Uh, let's see. Can I look at your trade goods, sir? Can I get enough to get the... This is something that I'm going to need later. I seem to remember needing elven holy water. I don't remember for what, though. Pick it up anyway. All right. But, yeah, I always pick that up for way later. So I don't remember what the Elven Holy Water was for. I remember it being for something. It's been, like I said, I think the last video playthrough I did was like 10 years ago or something like that. Okay, so we've got some stuff that we can sell. The uh, scrolls sell for a lot of money. What is it, Dwarf? Can I have a look at your trade items? Okay, so I'm going to sell... So you've got Scroll of Call Air Elemental. Throw it in the trash. Poison Vapors. Sell it to him. And that gives me 2,000 gold right off the bat. So that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to get two Scrolls of Exiting, and I believe that's really all I'm... Hmm... 
a couple of these, and that's it. All right. I don't know if I'm going to need those, but just in case. All right. Save. So I've got a little bit of money. Definitely looking up. Okay, now this guy has... Well, there's several things I want down here. Uh, let's talk to this dude. Hey, what? Is there any adventure to be had around these parts? It's funny you should ask. I have a bit of a problem. Uh, that's obvious from looking at you. There's no need for a snide attitude, nor is uh, it's a company, uh, accompanying comment, sir. What about your accompanying, accompanying thrashy? <laughs> My apologies. What's your problem? There's a rather recent scientist, uh, scientician that lives here in town. Neither uh, hide nor hair of him has been sighted in a fortnight. What does it have to do with you? I've contracted the fellow to use his technology to prove an old set of plate armor I had. Why do you need my assistance? I went to his house two days ago searching for him. His door is locked, unlocked, so I went in. I immediately was accosted by all manner of gadgetry and forced to flee. Expect me to go in there for you? It's tough for me, but the fellow of your ingenuity could waltz right into his house and get my armor for me. Um... What do I get out of this? I'll give you 200 gold for, gold for retrieving my plate. Um, it, run con it runs contrary to my best judgment, but I'll do it. Good. I'll wait for you. I heard you return. Um, so you walk in here, and there's a, a poison rack. But it's actually, with the dog, it's actually not very dangerous. So we're going to go ahead and wait an hour. Wait another hour. Another hour. Okay, so it's healed. Now, the tough part is down here. This crate actually has an on automatron. But um, there's a problem, or a bug, or whatever you want to call it, right? If you go into turn-based mode... Okay, so it's supposed to bust out and start attacking you, but if you're still in turn-based mode, it won't actually pop out until you're in turn-based mode. So what I'm going to do is stay in turn-based mode here. Learn this. I, I, I have uh, the recipe for an automaton now. I just learned it. First of all, I have to... Oh, God, inventory management in this game. There we go. Okay. We're going to stay in turn base mode and just walk out. And we don't have to fight the automaton at all. <laughs> yeah, there it is right there. That thing. I mean, you can kill it with the dog. you got to get kind of lucky, though. Uh, and, you know, it's not like the experience is worth it or it drops anything. Yes, what? I have your armor. Excellent. Give it to me. I could say I decided to keep it. No, we're going to get the experience. And here's your 200 gold. Good day, sir. Many thanks. Now you probably know what I'm going to do. That's a pretty good armor that I could use on some of my characters. So, um, you know, since I can't pickpocket it off of you, I think you're going to have to die, my friend. And of course, with the dog helping us, he doesn't last too long. I'm going to give this to Virgil. There you go. I'm going to throw your old armor in the trash. And this guy might attack me. Uh, yep, uh. he will. Okay. Okay. I'm going to heal the dog. Yeah, he's he apparently was too close and... You know. Realized that I was up to no good. Okay. But we got him. I think we should be clear from there. We need to pick up some of his crap. There we go. Let's get out of here before somebody else finds us. Uh, the guards have, like, um, some kind of range that if within that range you do something bad, they, you know, they'll come after you if they see you. Something like that. It's actually not even too clear how that works exactly. You know what?
There's a dude over here. I wonder if I want to kill him. He's a guy with a nice rifle. And although I'm not going to use firearms, and I don't think anybody in my party... You know what? There's no reason not to kill him. There's no reason not to kill him. Um, actually, this guy has a quest, doesn't he? There's a dude over here with a quest. He wants me to kill these pigs, I think. Hold on, let me talk to this guy. Yes! Greetings, Halfling. Mind I ask your name? My name is Theo Brightstart. Who are you? My name is Chris. Well, what do you want, Chris? Um, do you have a job I could do? I do do got one small problem. I just can't seem to take care of it. Maybe you could. What do you need? I spend every day here plowing, planting, picking, working the land I love. A while back, some wild pigs moved into the area. No matter what I can do, I can't seem to get rid of them. And these critters are really starting to damage my crops. Those pigs are just too wily for me. Think you can get rid of a few pigs? I'll pay you. Oh, sure. What's the pay? It's not a big job. I don't think it's worth more than 50 coins. What do you say? Sounds fair. I'll return shortly. Okay, so these would be the pigs over here. I'm not sure. He said a few pigs. I'm not sure if... Uh, there's three of them, I guess. I guess it's a few. So, uh... <laughs> these, things sound, these things seem just... Uh, pitiful, really. Damn. Poor pigs. Oh well. Oh well, duty calls. Oh no! Somebody saw us killing the pig. Well, I, I wonder if that was technically a bad thing to do. How my alignments of one? That might have been bad. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, despite all our evil deeds, we'll actually get probably positive alignment before it's all done. Uh, let's see. I've taken care of the pigs as you requested. Well done. Here's the 50 coin we agreed upon. Thanks for the help. All right. Um, he's actually—I didn't realize that—but that guy is actually an expert in throwing. Throwing's not actually that bad, but I'm not going throwing. I'm going melee. Um, throwing's actually not that bad a skill. It's probably better than firearms, based on my experience. Okay. Halicon's peace to you, brother. I greet you in goodness. Okay, this is the guy. I'm William Thorndrup. Okay. This is the guy who's got, if you can see here, I'm going to pickpocket him, or, you know, ready to pickpocket him. He's got a looking glass rifle. That's actually not too bad. And even though I'm not going rifles or firearms, I do actually still have a little bit in firearms here. And I could actually leverage that to, um, you know, use that rifle in, in a few circumstances. So I'm actually going to see... I'm not sure how hard this guy is to kill. I've never killed him before. But I'm actually going to see if I can handle him. Oh, he's going to be easy. He's just going to run. There you go. That'll work. It didn't even fight back. <laughs> Alright. Got the rifle. Otherwise, you would actually have to make that rifle. That's I think that's the only looking grass rifle in the game unless you make it yourself. It's a pretty good rifle, like I said. Uh, we can get better later, but we're not really going to use guns at all. I'm just getting that just so I have the option to use it later. Uh, you know, kind of like a stopgap type weapon since I'm not going to have anything for a while. Hold on. I'm going to save. You never know what can happen. And we're walking to Durant. Actually, maybe I should go back to... Uh... You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be go, go back to Durant yet. Let's go back to uh, Shrouded Hills first. We'll get back to Trant later. I want to. I want to finish like pretty much everything in Shrouded Hills first, and then we'll go to Trant. I can. Um, I can go to Shrouded Hills, do the quest in Shrouded Hills, 
then go to Black Root, go back to Shrouded Hills, then go to. Uh, no, it's not Black Root. Go, go to the yeah, go to go to the stuff down there. Then I can uh, actually get. I think uh, I think I can get a ship to Trant. Not sure. That's what the dog can do. Dog is pretty useful. Where am I? Level four? Okay. We should be able to get to level five. Which, um, we can get our next character. Which is not, not Virgil. Or actually, wait. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can. Even though I only have a charisma of three, it still lets me have at least one follower. Um... I'm... let's see, do I have to go down there and get the quest first? I don't know, this is, this is one of the things about this game. I'm not sure what order I have to do this in. I'm gonna go get the quest first, even though I'm slow as hell and it's annoying me. I need to offload some crap that I've picked up here. I have plenty of money though, so we got no problems there. This town, this town should be fine. Uh, let's talk to this guy. May I ask you a question? Do you need apprentice tra uh, no, never mind. Okay, I thought I could get, uh, made lead training. And who might you be? I'm Jongle Dun, learned wizard and alchemist. If you have a problem in Shrouded Hills of a magical nature, I'm a person to see. You caught me at a bad time, friend. Perhaps we could speak later. Um... Perhaps I could be of assistance? Well, perhaps I've got a problem here in Shrouded Hills of the most delicate nature. It's strictly confidential if you get my meaning. Of course. Um, might ask you a few questions about it. Certainly. Um, let's see. What is the nature of your problem, Mr. Dunn? Well, he leans for, uh, towards you, looking about around secretively. There's a conspiracy here, here in Shrouded Hills. A dark plan full of mystery and intrigue. Interesting. Exactly what seems to be going on. This whole, hold on, I'm gonna get a drink here. Okay. The whole town is out uh, to get me. They've been brainwashed by that Constable Owens, and now only a, it's only a matter of time before I'm forced to leave. I see. What has Constable Owens done to you? What has he done to me? The man has endangered the natural balance which allows me to put bread on my table. Do you have any idea of what the presence of his bloody steam engine does to my magical abilities? I see, you're speaking of the nature of magic and technology. Of course I am, and that Constable Owens is weakening my powers. There was a time where I was once the most powerful man in Shrouded Hills. Goodness, a big place like this. Sarcasm is lost on him. Yes! If there was someone to do something about it, he throws uh, a hooded glance your way. What exactly are you proposing? If you could find a way to disable the Inferno Machine, I might be able to part with a couple of my healing potions. What do you say? It's a deal. Great. I look forward to hearing from you. Alright, so we gotta go... Um... Destroy a steam engine. Which is, uh... Um... Something I'm going to do here... Right now, because... This little spot over here, this is where I'm gonna stash stuff that I, I want to save for later, but don't want to tug around with me, because you only have a limited amount of carry capacity um, and inventory space. So, what we're going to do first, I'm going to talk to this guy. Is someone in need of my service? Um, can you train me to be an apprentice? What type of training are you seeking? Firearms. It's 104 co coins. What do you say? Yep, of course. Thank you. Alright, so that's all I need from him right now. So, here's the thing. Um... I've got Firearms Apprentice, and that actually increases the speed of any gun I'm using by five. So basically, this this gun is now, it was a speed one weapon. It's now a speed six, so it, it made this a whole lot faster. Very worth doing. Um, and I need to get some bullets. Something else I forgot to do. Uh, 
Uh, hold on a minute. I'm... Stupid cat's asking to get in. Come on. Yeah, wow yourself. Alright, it's not this guy that I wanted to talk to, actually. I'm going to talk to him in a minute. Um, I'm just going to go over here and get some bullets real quick. Uh, hello. Interested in trading? Um, bullets, bullets, bullets. Right here. Yeah, stock plenty of bullets. Hmm? I couldn't afford it? Okay, well... Let me get 100 bullets and I'll be happy. Didn't realize I was running out of money that quickly. Come on. Okay. Yeah, apparently I couldn't afford it. Alright, got a hundred and... Um, 115 bullets. Anything else I need here? I don't think so. Uh, I'm just curious about... Uh, I seek your apprentice training. Haggle? No, I'm not going to be able to do that. Uh, I need, like... Um, I don't know. Heal or something? Not heal. Pick locks, repair, things like that. Let's talk to this guy. Hello, Lloyd. Can you spare a few moments? Uh... Good day, what can I do for you? Uh, sorry, the cat's distracting me. Get, what is your problem, cat? Oh my god, you're all wet. Cat got all wet. Um, let's see here. How's business... Uh, how's how, how has business been lately? Business? Oh, I suppose it's never outstanding here in Shrouded Hills. We're a small town and a simple folk. But to be honest, I've had trouble getting my hands on a good ore for smithing. It's hard to bring up anything out of the old Bessie tune. Uh, what type of ore do you need? Well, sir, I'm in dire need of some pure ore. I'll not make a blade without it. If you can find some, I may be obliged to make you a dagger out of whatever was left. Just happen to have some here with me. Here you go. That's grand. I really appreciate it. Come back in a little while and I'll have your dagger. Okay, he'll get it. I don't really need his dagger. Um, yeah, it's not really better than what I have. Let me see if I'll... Uh, See if I can sell some stuff. Come to retrieve my dagger. Still making it. Um, let's barter. Oh, he doesn't buy that. Oh, he does buy this. He definitely buys the mithril or mithril or, but I'm gonna stash that. What else does he have? Anything? I can buy that for later because I'm gonna use that. Bullets. I don't have the money. Uh, well, let's go ahead and return for my dagger. Why not? Advance time one day. A human villager. Okay. See something you missed before? Come, come to retrieve my dagger. I finished it. Here you go. And once again, thanks for your help. Okay, so... Hold on. I'm going to talk to this guy and see if he'll teach me... Uh, ooh, Meili. There you go. 104 coin payment will suffice. There you go. Apprentice training. Spot trap. Need more experience. Okay, I didn't have that. Okay, cool. Alright, that's good. Um, let's go destroy that steam engine. Because I really need to drop some stuff off in that place. Actually, let me just dump this in the trash here. Since nobody's going to buy it from me. Well, actually, wait a minute. I think this guy does buy this stuff. Do you have a moment? Buy and sell? Yeah, he does. This guy, I think, buys just about everything. Okay, that's it. Okay, and it's full of rats, but they may or may not bother me, depending. This is this is as good as place as any, so I'm going to dump the mithril ore there. I'm going to dump the that there. Um, that uh, mulligan hand amulet. Make sure I have that. Okay, I don't need to dump this. Don't need to really dump the ore yet. Ah, the water. Holy water there. That's kind of not something I need to have on me, really. I think the rest of it is... The big thing was the mirthful ore. That's, that's freaking heavy. This. Okay, that's that. This is strangely got some robes in it. I'm going to move those over there. 
That's good enough. Uh, you like my steam engine? It mine. I keep it clean and run good. Uh, I think it's an affront to society here. It should be destroyed. No, no hurt my steam engine. Engine, my friend. I clean engine. It's shiny. I see. Well, this has been some intellectually stimulating, but I must go. Um, so we're gonna have to kill him first. Yeah, I've got everything uh, set up here. It's just... Okay, now we'll kill the steam engine. Okay, it didn't take long. Now, when you hit, when you hit, like, use a sword against, like, a steam engine or something, it, it, uh, damages the sword. Damages your weapon. Uh... But we weren't hitting it enough for it to matter. All right, so I just did that for him. Actually, you know what? Before we go down there, we got another quest here that I'm going to do first. Um, hello, and who might you be, sir? I'm called Doc Roberts. In these parts, who might you be? I'm Chris. Well, Chris, there's nothing else. Uh, if there's nothing else, I think you... I think you go... I think I'll be thanking you to go get along. Um, is there any work to be had around here? The weather old man looks uh, over to you as if appraising any potential you might actually possess. There might be something, if you don't mind putting your hide in danger's way. Not adverse to have been a danger, provided the pay is right. Where does reach me that to the Bowman gang is coming to rob the bank? Too bad for them that my money happens to be in there too. So what do you need me for? I could use someone to watch my back, and there ain't no one worth their salt in this town. Sounds intriguing. What's the, uh, what will you pay me for my help? Well, it depends, Chris. Do you fancy yourself a magic, magicer or a scientist? Um, I'm known to Dan. Uh, I'm partial to waves of technology. Well, in that case, I have a finely made pistol here that I could let you have afterwards. You were you to back me up uh, when the trouble starts. Uh, I'm intrigued by your offer. What would I need to do? Meet me in front of the bank. I'll be keeping an eye out for the trouble to start. When it does, I'll expect you by my side. I'll see you there, then. So, we're gonna go, uh... Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish... I might finish... Uh, everything but the Bessie Tune quests, I think I'm gonna finish in this town before I move on here. So, he's gonna get right about down here... Okay. There you are. You ready to throw in with me? I've seen the old boys roll down in tent. I haven't seen the the boys roll into town yet, but it doesn't mean they aren't already here. I'm ready. Damn, they slipped inside somehow. Let's put these fools six feet under, boy. With ya. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Alright, there you go. This can actually kind of go badly if you're not careful. Um, I'll take some bullets. Bullets are actually kind of expensive. I'll take this, I'll take this. Alright, we'll way down now. Oh yeah, he scratches his head. I owe you something, don't I? Well, here you go. And I don't have much experience thanking people, but a thanks. Pleasure doing business. We'll be seeing you around. Perhaps good luck. Okay, I'm just gonna go sell this crap he gave me. He gave me a, gave me a gun that's. I, I suppose if you haven't been past this down, it's still decent. But uh, I have a much better rifle right now. So, uh, you have a moment. Let's barter. I'm gonna sell you this, 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 and this. And uh, that's it. Okay, that kind of made up a little bit for my um, spending spree I did. Okay, now we're going down here to tell a Jungle Dongle, or whatever his name is, that the steam engine is now busted. It's always an honor. Hello, Jungle Dun. Have you a moment? Certainly. Um, I've taken care of your little steam engine problem. Really? That's wonderful. Here's your payment. He answers some potions. You're quite resourceful, young man. Perhaps you'd like to do something else for me. Of course, I'm at your service. 
Well, as I told you, I'm an alchemist. I've studied long and hard the chemical uh, attributes of lead and gold. It seems like I've finally discovered the secret to making former the former into the latter. All I need now is the final secret ingredient. That ingredient is... Oh, I'm so sorry, but I'm afraid that's my business. Unfortunately, I don't have access to it here in the Shrouded Hills, and only the only man who sells it is in Durnhold to the east. Here, I'll mark it on your map. He does so. The man's name is Charles Dolan, and he owns a shop in Durnhold. What do I need to do? You just need to speak to Mr. Dolan and tell him that you've come to pick up a package for Jungle Dunn. I'll wire ahead for him and tell him to expect you. For your services, I'll pay you 70 gold pieces. What do you say? Sounds good. Oh, by the way, you're going to use a telegram. I thought you hated technology. Uh, we're still on level four. Okay, that means that... All right. Um, I want to be at a level five by the time I get to Durnholm because I want to recruit... Uh, Rick Recruit, recruit Jaina Styles, and um, I have to be level five for for that. So I'm going to go into the Bessie Tune Mine, get a little bit of experience, and I've got to pick up a couple of items in there too. I'm not going to do any quests. There's a there's a a thing you can do with a ghost in there that's you know quest related, but it uh, I don't think it's worth it. It's too long. Um, I'm going to skip that. I'm going to do a lot of the quests of the early game, and then towards the later game, I'm going to kind of breeze through most of the later game. Always save, because you could have a critical failure here that could just blow your head off. It's freaking ridiculous. Um, pick that up, pick that up. I don't really need to go to a certain part of the mine. I'm just going to take a look at the iron ore that I have. One, two, five, and three. Probably don't need any more iron ore. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, this is actually a fairly dangerous enemy if you don't have the dog with you. Um, this is... This is usually crap, but I'm gonna check it anyway, because I'm a sucker. I think that's a mage dagger, probably. Ouch! Ouch! So, Virgil becomes less and less useful as you grow in your technical aptitude because his fails start spelling, uh, his, his spells start failing on you, rather. Um, and that, that makes him kind of worthless. Uh, I'm not really sure who I'm going to go with ultimately. It's probably going to be another techie, probably a gun user. But I'll only have, I don't know, I might have two followers max maybe i don't know i'm never gonna pump i'm never gonna pump charisma so yeah i don't i'm not sure what i'm gonna end up end up with as far as followers the dog i guess for as long as he survives is gonna stay with me i might go full solo at some point who knows if they you know if my followers start annoying me for some reason but um yeah we'll see it's it's basically this 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 run is about my character, not about my followers, so... I mean, I'd like to keep Virgil just because of the storyline, but like I said, he's he's going to be absolutely worthless at some point. Uh, wait a minute, is that where I want to go? I think it is. Yeah, I want to go... I want to go to Durnholm now, right? Yeah. I should get the neck, the rest of my level along the way here. So, let's go. It's now marked on my map. Encounters? No? 
Okay, if there's no encounters, I'm going to go to the wolf cave and kill something there to get my level. Yeah, let's see if we can get a level out of this. Should be able to. I mean... I don't think there's, like, a quest I could do in Durnholm, because I don't have the persuasion. There's one quest in Durnholm that I can think of. I, I mean, there's several quests in Durnholm, but uh, one requires me to have higher persuasion than I'm going to have, and um, the other one is, like, that I can think of is outside Durnholm, and so I have to leave Durnholm and go to another town. Um... I guess I could do that, huh? Oh, we're gonna kill a bunch of baby wolves. Ah, oh, that's kinda sad. Oh, well, here we go. Oh! Never mind. Damn. Hold on, is there any more uh, stamina for you? Let's try this again. I don't want to lose Virgil here, not right now. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess if he dies, it doesn't matter, right? It's just, I, I'd have to carry his stuff, which sucks. Ah, poor little puppies. Oh well. Well, them's the brakes. Get my way, and you die. Um, I'll take this, I guess. Sheet metal. There's nothing special about that. There's nothing special about any of that. No. Crates? Any amount of money. Yep, okay, so that was, um... We did get close, though. We get to... We, we did get close to level. So, if we meet anything outside... We should be... We should get a level. Mm -hmm. It's in incredible that... I'm not getting any encounters. I'll get, like, tons of encounters when I don't want them. I think there's, like, a maze over here. Let's go... I mean, while I'm waiting for encounters, let's go, uh... Maybe visit that. Somewhere over here. There it is. Ancient maze. I forgot. Wasn't there something... Oh! No, 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 no. Oh, okay, I know what this was, too. I remember there being something over here, but I wasn't quite sure what it was for. Now I remember it was, uh, it's actually for the Ancient Gods quest. It's a dungeon. There we go, there's my level up. Alright, cool. Got our level up. We don't need any more enemies now. So, we're level 5, we can re recruit, uh, Jaina. I wonder if my tech aptitude is enough. It might... Oh, crap. What if my tech aptitude isn't enough? It's six. It's not enough. <laughs> um, well, I said I was going to go mechanized arachnid. So that there, it should it should actually be enough now. Just by uh, putting one, one point in spike trap. All right. That should be fine. You have to have a tech aptitude of 11, I think, or higher to actually get her to join. Uh, let's go up here first. I feel like I'm weighed down. Oh, why do I have... Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's a sprocket. Okay, I'm at your disposal. Uh, first of all, let me see if you've got anything worth buying. No. I was looking for maybe a scroll of exit. What sort of wares do you carry here? Um. Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to ask. I'm here to pick up, pick up something for Jungle Dunn. Ah, old Jungle Dunn sent, sent world that you're, you'll be showing up, my friend. I have his package right here. He hands it to you. That wizard is just a crazy old man. Great. That's uh, where have I heard that before? All right, hold on a minute. I do have scrolls of exit. I just I should have used them. Yeah, I did pick them up. I just um, I didn't put them in my quick slot. 
Okay, there's not too much here, actually. Okay, so, um, we're going to, um... Hmm, what is it that you want? Strip everything off of Virgil, basically. Can you drop? I can. I can just drop that on the ground and tell you to what take a hike. What is it of me? Yes, of course. Well, no, I. All right. I'll see you later, Virgil. You um, it was real, bro. You know, I'm worried that he's gonna pick this up after I get off of it. He's probably gonna pick that sword up. So I'm gonna make room and try to pick it up myself. <laughs> Come on. Inventory, inventory managed can can be triggered. Tricky. Where did he put it? I'm so glad that you're safe. Yeah. Okay, you. I thought I dropped that, but whatever. What is it that you want of me? Yes, of course. What would um. You like no, I can help. You must. I see. Well, I'll wait here, meditating on the scriptures until you return. All right. Yeah, you do that. Um, I'm going to talk to this lady. I says, yes, greeting, madam. Might I ask who you are? My name is Gina, Gina Stiles. Greetings, madam. Have you a moment? How can I help you? Uh, what are you doing here in Dernholm, Gina? What am I doing here? Well, what does anyone really do in Dernholm? Not much to do in this town. Wasn't always less this way. To hear this, uh, to hear the way that my parents used to talk about it seems a little sad, saying, I guess you could say I'm a healer, if I'm anything at all. Um... What sort of healing do you do? Well, I don't really do any of it very well. There's been a recent, a decent doctor around here for a very long time, and our best midwife died not too long ago. Uh, I really want to learn, but there's really not anyone to learn from. She gets a determined look in her eyes, but I'm still trying. You see, uh, it's really important to me that I become a great healer. Um, how are your studies progressing? Not too well, unfortunately. As I said, there's not anyone to learn from around here. I am I have a little healing skill, but just not good at magic. She lowers her voice, leaning towards you. Actually, I'm very interested in some of the newer technolog technological practices. Really? Do you think technology is better? Shh, keep your voice down. Don't you know? You can't even talk about such things here. It's the law. King Praetor got it in his old noggin a long time ago that technology is terrible, and he doesn't want anybody to even think about it. She looks about... You see, that's where that has gotten us. Um, uh, do you know much about your, that sort of healing? Not a whole lot. I've read a few textbooks. I have uh, to keep them well hidden, mind you. But there's really just isn't much that, to be learned around here. Why don't, why don't she leave? Go to Trent, maybe. She sighs. I really can't afford to. My parents weren't that wealthy, and I don't make much money here in Durnholm. Plus, it's not all that safe for a woman to be traveling by herself. I'm afraid that I'm stuck here for now. Hmm, maybe you could tr come along with me. Hope flares in her eyes. What do you mean? Well, I'm traveling. I could use a scientific healer. Really? I mean, I don't know very much. I don't know how much I would help I, help I would be. Perhaps we could learn things together. She laughs aloud, clapping her hands together. Oh, yes, it sounds just wonderful. I mean, I work very... Uh, I work, I'll work my very hardest to learn while we're abroad. You can count on me, sir. I won't let you down. So you come along then? Yes, I would love to come along with you. I'm ready to go right now. Okay, so this is Janice Stiles. She's... I didn't... Actually, I didn't realize she was a half-elf. She's got a penalty to her, her tech stuff then. Doesn't make much sense. What? She's, um... She's got some heals. She's got um, a little bit of melee ability. I think she actually gets max dodge and melee, but her strength never goes up. So she's never going to be a very good meleeer. Um, but she has some useful skills. She gets uh, up to four in therapeutics and four in herbology. So... Early on, she's useful. Later on, I'll probably ditch her, depending on what happens. But for now, we're going to go ahead and use her. And she's replacing... Um, uh, she's replacing... 
what's his face? Virgil. Uh, let's see, I'm going to give her some of the ingredient stuff that I've been picking up here. Whoops. Oh. So she's, she's tech-based, so that means when she tries to heal me, it won't fail, because she's healing with uh, tech stuff. And like I said, later on, I'm going to have very high tech aptitude, and like spells and magical items won't really have much of an effect on me, because that's the way the game works. So, what sort of things can you make? Um, Elixir of Persuasion, that's all I have right now. Ooh, that's weird. It's a weird graphical glitch right there. Save it, and she's uh, she's the, she gets the good armor. So that armor is pretty damn nice. Uh, basic machine plate. Now, um, machine plate is supposed to give you plus strength. This this one doesn't though. So she's not getting any strength from this. Uh, and that's unfortunate. I could, like I said, if I really wanted to invest in her... There's things I could do to get her to 20 strength. I'm not sure if it's worth it. We'll see. Um, okay, so let's see where we did that. What we're going to do right now. Well, first of all, this guy, we can sell some stuff to this guy. Um, sell that that right there. Sell that sword, which I think is a... Uh, I think that's a sword of speed or something like that. I'm going to go up and talk to the king here. He's got a quest that I could do. I think we're going to go do it. the king what brings an outsider to my chambers I've come to see if there were any jobs to be had I've needed a courier there appears to be some sort of problem with Blackroot one of our outlying provinces I could use someone to look into it what's the nature of the problem two years ago Blackroot sent word that they could not meet my, their taxes their crops had failed I have heard I haven't heard from them since I need someone to investigate and collect what I'm owed. Five gold bars, I believe. Could they have betrayed your majesty? Never. They're my loyal subjects. Would you be interested in such a venture? I'll give it a go. Alright, so I'm going to go... To... Let's see. When am I going to go do that? I might go do that right now. Because that's not too far away. And the, the actual... Uh, the actual quest isn't too hard, either. I don't think you can actually steal the taxes, like... They give you a box. It's not like they give you money, unfortunately. Because I would definitely rip it off. But, um... Yeah. It's worth some experience, anyway. By the time I get back to Tarant, I want to be about level 8 or so. I don't know, I could go back to Shrouded Hills now. And finish up... Let's go back to... Let's do Shrouded Hills first. And then I'll go, bit, go to Black right there. Okay, that's... Wrong button. that up. Got to keep uh, Jaina restocked with um, these things here. All right. Um, first things first, let's go give Jongle Dongles his package. And then we kind of betray him by giving these the um, ingredients to fix the steam engine to the uh, constable. Always well met, my friend. Do you have a moment? 
I brought back your package. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Someday uh, you'll be able to look back and say that you helped the man who changed the course of human history. Here's your money. Fascinating. Perhaps you could share the secret with me. Sorry, my good man, but this secret stays with me. I do thank you, though. I wish you the best of luck in your travels. So we don't know what actually happens. You know, I, I don't remember if this guy actually had anything to loot on him. I'm just going to see about pickpocketing him. What does he actually have? Nothing. Okay. Yeah, he, he's got nothing. So this pretty much finishes all the quests in in um, Shrouded Hills, except for, I think, the Bessie Toon quest. I heard you have a little problem with your steam engine. <laughs> yes, a matter of fact, we've been having a slight problem with the old thing. It seems someone has disabled it, destroyed one of the necessary components. A sprocket, actually. If someone were to locate a replacement, would this be the piece? Show them the old sprocket. By God, this is the very component we've been looking for. I've been offering 100 gold pieces for it. Are you interested? Deal. 100 gold pieces here is here's your payment. Okay. Um, I did tell him uh, that I solved the problem on the bridge, so that's literally it. We are level five and a half or so. Um, let's go up here. Cool. We're done with this town. I think, right? Yeah, we're done with this town. We'll be back here, but, you know, we're, we're basically done with all the quests for this town. Let's go talk to this lady. She's got a couple of items I want. Namely, Potion of Haste, Potion of Intellect. Boy, she's really expensive with those. All right, let's let her restock. Um, you're going to see me using a lot of Potions of Haste in this game particularly in the beginning, because I'm going to be very slow. And the Potion of Haste adds, like, plus 20 to your speed or something like that, something crazy. So I might even be using those later on. Um, just really just for the convenience of getting places faster, because my walk speed is going to be pretty slow for a while. It's going to be pretty high later, but, like, in the beginning, it's going to be pretty slow. What's this? Rope the Chameleon... Prowling plus two. What you can do is if your magic or if your technological aptitude isn't too high, you could buy something like that and get um, get a get your uh, novice prowling trained up. Uh, it's not worth it, and I'm never going to use prowling anyway. But uh, you could if you wanted to. You know, I have a limited time where my technical aptitude is going to be low enough where that's going to, like, an item like that's going to have any effect anyway. Okay, so we got a few um, haste potions. That'll make my life a little bit easier. Uh, we're going to Durant, finally. Torg's altar. I'm gonna need to go there eventually. Not now, though. What I like about this game is it's actually very open-ended. I mean, you can you can force your way into most of the game without actually having to follow the main storyline. It's it's my kind of game, basically. You could totally break it in half. Uh. Alright, so we're in Tarant. Um, first things first. We want to go up here, right? I think so. First things first, we're going up here. So, there's a half-ogre guarding a room. But he's not a very good guard. Because it just lets me walk into this room. 
and start destroying this chest, which has about 4,000 gold in it. <laughs> and then we can go down here really quick. Oh, I think I can do this. Okay. There are a bunch of uh, mechanized arachnids down here. Um, but I wanted to get this chest. I think I want this. I'm not actually sure if I wanted this, but... Looks like she broke her weapon. Or dropped her weapon. Pyrotechnic axe. That's actually a pretty good axe, and I'm not sure if I really want to use that, but I'm going to go down... Oh, he's dropped it. Okay. I'm going to go down here anyway. Here. Take your sword back, for crying out loud. This is why I don't like followers... They're always dropping their weapons and stuff. And, you know, even though I did that, I could go out of here and he won't he won't flinch. <laughs> so why, I don't know. But whatever. We're gonna go talk to this lady in here, because there's a quest to find a painting. Hmm, who might you be? I don't believe we we've met, madam. She looks a bit distracted by something some, and somewhat distraught. Yes, where are my manners? I'm Mrs. Evelyn Gearingsburg. Please make yourself comfortable. I'm sorry. What did you say your name was? Um, my name's Chris. A pleasure to meet you, madam. Very good. It's so nice to meet a well-bred individual. I hate to be rude, but I really must excuse myself. I have so much to deal with. What with the robbery and all. Robbery? Madam, is there anything I can do? I'm afraid that there's little to be done now. Two nights ago, there was a break in, in the, here at the mansion. In the morning, we awoke to find some of our most prized possessions has been stolen, including our beloved Kyrgyz and Parasophone, a Pizarro original. Um, I'm very sorry. Have the police had any leads? The police have little uh, have had little luck in catching the criminals. It seems that they've covered their tracks pretty well. There's a local paper around here somewhere describing the incident. You're welcome to it. She gestures lazily. And I so love that painting. Ah, perhaps I could offer my services in finding the painting. Oh yes, I'd be more, most grateful. Would you really do that? I could offer you, oh, 300 gold pieces if you were to return it. Of course, madam, I'd be honored to take the draw. Splendid. Thank you so much. I'll wait your return. I must be off. Okay, so that's loading up a quest for later. Um, this guy has a ring that he lost down here. I'm going to go pick it up real quick. Basically, I do quests... Oh, wow, I just blew that rat into oblivion. Um, I'm picking up a bunch of quests to get experience up to a certain point, and then I'm going to kind of grind experience the rest of the way until I get... Um, Basically, I'm going to get uh, enough stat points and high enough level to get um, teleport. Because that's that's where you can actually kind of like sit back and kind of enjoy the game, really. You don't have to walk everywhere manually. That's a, so wonderful when you reach that point. All right. Be quick about it now. I have it. I have to be on. Uh, hello, sir. May I ask who? May I ask who you are? Man is looking at the sewer grating directly in front of him. Yes, of course. My name is Matthew Jameson. Nice to meet you. Pleasure. What are you doing here out on the street? Oh, bloody brother! I woke up this morning. You know, it took an early trip to the loo, so I'm washing my hands, and my wedding ring falls off right down the sink. It disappears. What a shame. And I went out with the lads last night. We had a few pints too many, and I didn't get home until late. So you know what the wife is going to think. I thought I might go down to the sewers and see if I could find it, but I hear dreadful things about the sewers. Perhaps I might be of assistance. Would you now? I'd be so appreciative. I don't savor the thought of trampling around in the sewers, uh, messing up my shoes. If I were to go down there and find the ring, if you were to go down there and find the ring for me, I'd pay 150 gold pieces. Done. Splendid. I'll await your return then. I'll be off then. I found your ring. Oh, I could say I found your ring. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to keep it. Nah. Um, the money is not important, the experience is. Also, the ring doesn't sell for anything. I found your ring. You give it to him. Wonderful, here's your money. You've really done me a favor. Looks like I won't be sleeping on the porch. Okay, cool. That's nice. 
I'm going to check this guy and see if he has a um, metal plate, or metal sheet, rather. Or steel, I'm sorry. There it is, steel. How many of these do I, what am I going to need here? I'm going to need a fair amount. Uh, let's see. Well, I think we got enough. Nice. Okay, that's all we need. Good to know. Um, <laughs> I think I need to. Should I go down here now? I'm mentally going through all the quests in my. Yeah, let's go down here now. Games. There's so much. It's like Fallout. There's so much to keep in mind in the order of things, man. All right. Uh, may I ask who you are? Oh yes. Excuse my rudeness, sir. My name is Simon Plow. I'm a bit distracted as, as uh, I'm a bit of a fix in a bit of a fix. What's your problem, sir? Recently I inherited these warehouses here, and I need to sell them to pay off my debts. But I have a rat problem. A big rat problem. And no one will purchase them from me until their rats are eradicated. How much would you pay me to do away with these rats? It's a problem, sir. I have no money. I need the money for a sale of these properties. Uh, the sale of these... And I need the money the sale of these properties would give me desperately. You can take whatever you find in cl uh, as you're cleaning them out as your payment, if you like. I should be here at least a few... Um, there should be at least a few valuable odds and ends of, tech of a technological nature. Uh, that's no problem, sir. I'll take care of it for you. Thank you. Please inform me where the rats are all dead. Okay, we need to go in here first. There is a few things... Um, oh, shoot. They either hit me bad or I shot and it backfired. That hurt me. Um, but there's some dwarven steel in here, which you can't buy until way later in the game, so... If you're looking to make, I think it's, um, God, I think it's a feather, featherweight axe or something like that, then that's a pretty good deal. Well, you know what? I could actually use both of those. There's, there's reasons to use those schematics. Another lecture of persuasion. Okay, cool. Let's go in. Killing rats, pretty easy. Dropped your weapon again, huh, Jaina? Or did you destroy it? Because I don't see it laying on the ground. Damn it, woman. Well, I'm not picking it up. <laughs> You, you can use your fists from now on, dummy. Yeah, there's four dwarven ores here, which you can, you can use to make stuff. Why are you not attacking that rat? Attack, 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 attack. No? Really odd, okay. I'm gonna attack it. There you go, okay, that's all the rats. And I made level six. One more level. Well, actually, yeah, we're, we're probably going to get two more levels all said and done. Your warehouse is free of rats, sir. Thank you very much. You know, you've helped me more than you can know. I'm sorry that I have nothing to give you but my thanks. Uh, oh, man. No, I'm not going to kill him. That's quite all right. Good day. For now. Actually, that was a lot of experience. That was more than half a level it gave me for that. Okay, well, anyway, we're going up here. I'm going to use one of those um, speed potions here, because I just hate moving slow. And uh, we're going to move slow for a while. Oh, my God. Well, I ditched what's-his-face, didn't I? But he has a telegram. Do you have a telegram for Virgil? He shuffles his papers around. Yes, as a matter of fact, we do. There'll be two coins. Here you go. Um... 
I've discovered something interesting concerning our friends with a strange amulet. Stop. I'm off to investigate my theories regarding them. Please accept my humblest apologies on my inability to meet you in Tarant. Stop. I understand all of this must be a bit disconcerting for both of you. If you have questions concerning the Panari religion, stop by any temple and speak with a priest. Stop. I believe there is one in Tarant at the northern end of Lion's Circle. Stop. When you have the means, travel to the village of Stillwater. Stop. I will leave the word with the, the innkeeper at the Bleeding Rose end as to where you can find me. Stop. Joaquin, stop. Uh, makes me a little disappointed that I'm not taking Virgil along. I don't know. I have time to go pick him back up if I want, if I also have the room in my party, just for the storyline. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, though. I'm thinking about it. I'm I'm kind of rolling it around in my head, and I'll we'll come to a decision at some point here about that, whether or not I really want to drag Virgil along, because he really wouldn't be of any use to me as far as healing goes, and he's not really the best fighter either. There's a guy in here that wears a ring. I murder now? I could murder now. Yeah, this guy... What's, does this guy actually have any use? So, he has a ring. You know, I can get the ring later. We don't need it now. I, it's no, if I don't have to use violence, I'm not going to do so. I don't need it now. I can wait. Uh, how many how many shots do I guess it doesn't matter here. I'm not gonna really use many shots anyway. I was thinking of buying some more ammo. There's a particular place that I'm gonna probably use it. How much 180 bullets? I'll take it. I'll take it. There's a particular place where that might come in handy. Um, let's go talk to this guy because this guy right here has some handles that I'm going to need. Hilts, I think. Yeah. Um, how many do I actually need here? So one, two, three. I'm going to need uh, one, two. I'm going to need six, so I need three more. He also carries some decent armor, just in general here. This is probably one of the best helms. War gauntlets. I want to actually spend on this. I guess I'll guess go ahead and buy it. Can't get better armor than what she has right now. Okay, so I give her some gauntlets and pig face fat, uh, pig faced basset. If, she, if we get some boots, I'll throw some boots on her. Uh, she's going to get some. She's going to get a better weapon pretty soon, so I don't have to worry about that. What is that? Blade launcher? No thanks. These are pretty good boots right here. So she should be pretty tanky. I could even give her that shield, but I'm not sure if I want to... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give her the shield too. There you go. There she blows. I think I need one more hilt. Styles is a beast. She doesn't have a lot of strength, though, so I can't really load her down that much. Is that is that right, or do I need one more? That's five. No, I need one more. Okay. I could also get this this for myself, too, but right now I want to have a little bit of money in the bank, so I can do that later. All right, so let's see here. That's that. Let's go ahead and use another haste potion. Also, it's us getting late, actually. Can I be of service? What's your name, sir? I go by the name of Jared, captain of the Vermilion Station Guard. You'll have to excuse my somber mood. I'm a bit on the distracted side lately. What's troubling you, sir? 
my girl, Wilhelmina, it was on the Zephyr. You know the blimp that crashed in Shrouded Hills? We've no word of the survivors yet. Um, I was part of the rescue team. I have a note for you. Reads the note. Wilhelmina! Uh, where is she? I'm sorry, she's dead. No, he begins sobbing. My condolences, sir. He continues to sob for some moments. I know I have no right to ask this of you, but you could do me a favor. Of course. Could you stop by the stone cutter for me? I need a tombstone made for my Wilhelmina. It's very important to me. His shop is on the corner of the Mulligan Bone Alley in the East Avenue. Tell him to come around and visit me. I can't leave my post. Of course. Of course. Sure. For a price. Say, I says, do you need me? Might I ask your name? I'm Mr. Wright, editor of the Transland, Transian's finest newspaper in the land. Um, who are you? My name is Chris. What can I help you with? Do we have a job I could do? Well, this is the Tarantian. News is our business. First thing that pops up to mind when you mention the work is news. Do you have any newsworthy stories? I pay quite well. I'm the sole survivor of the IFS Zephyr. Does that qualify? No, you? You're the sole survivor from the IFS Zephyr tragedy? What a godsend. I must have your story. I'll pay you 500 coin on the spot if you'll answer my questions. 500? You've got yourself a story, Mr. Wright. Ask away. First of all, I realize it's a very traumatizing experience. Please take your time. If you need to stop for a few moments, I fully understand. Are you ready? Yes, thank you for understanding. Can we begin? So you're Chris. You're the sole survivor from the horrendous IFS disaster. Yes, I'm sorry to say that uh, no one else survived the impact. Do you really have any idea what caused the great ship to plummet? There was a tremendous explosion. It shook the vessel. Yes? I didn't see anything in the air, but I heard the sound of gunfire. Gunfire? At that altitude? How is that possible? I heard engines. I believe there were two different ones. Engines? The Zephyr was uh, one of a kind. What else could have been up there with you? There was a wreckage also near the blimp. Some strange craft. More flying craft. Incredible. Writing notes frantically. So you don't think it was an accident or sabotage? You're telling me that the IF IFS Zephyr was shot out of the sky deliberately by some sort of secret aircraft. Yes, this is as much as I've been able to piece together. Looking very strange. Mixture of shock and elation. Chris, you've just given me the story of a lifetime. Thank you so much. Here, here's the coin you promised. I promised. You've more than earned it. I've got to get this to the process of to the presses immediately. Goodbye. Uh wait. You're in a hurry. Is there anything else I can do? Well, we don't have any openings here at the moment. Thanks for a moment. There's a small job for you could do. It's only pays 75 coins. Are you just interested? Yes, yes, I am. All right, here. This is a payment note. I need it delivered to Mrs. Hallister. Her house is located at the corner of Derbyshire and Vermilion. Return to me after the delivery, and I'll give you the 75 coin. Okay, cool. Um, and we're going to talk to this lady, too. Yes, what can I do for you? Hello, madam. Can I ask who you are? The woman looks at you wide-eyed and seems to regain her composure. Yes, of course. I'm Dolores Beston, spirit medium and teller of the future things. I live here to serve the good and noble citizens of Tarant, to make things clearer when they are dark, to call for help when it's needed. How may I help you? Could I ask you a few questions, Dolores? Of course. What do you do here? I talk with the spirits, look into the far-flung future and see what it holds for those who dare to look. I'm the guide of in the nether realms, a mistress uh, in the medium of the mysterious. Um, can you read my future? I'm very sorry, but currently I'm having a problem with my crystal ball. I dropped it the other day, and my visions have become foggy and unclear ever since. I've looked into finding another one, but yeah, as you might guess, a crystal ball is rare, a uh, rare commodity. I assume so. Perhaps I could assist you in finding another. She smiles mysteriously. Yes, I thought you might say that. I have a feeling of such things, you know. From the moment you walked in here, I knew you were something special. Let's not get carried away, madam. I understand not everybody is a believer in any case. I would very much appreciate your help. If you were to find me a new crystal ball, I'll pay you 200 gold pieces. What do you say? Of course, I'll be glad to assist you. Splendid, no? I may be able to assist you in finding one. As I told you, my crystal ball is not working correctly, but sometimes a physical piece of uh, the person I am viewing helps me to clear the vision. Might I, have you, might I have a lock of your hair? Of course. Wonderful. She stares out at... Uh, she takes out, a scissors, <laughs> she takes out a scissors and cuts a small lock of your hair. Now we look, up, uh, we look into the ball and see what is to be seen. She stares intently. 
uh, waving the lock of hair in front of her face. Um, cloudy, but something is clear. Yes, I see where you might be able to procure a ball. Where? The warehouse district. I see a bordello there. A small shop just beside it. I see a sign. Madame Tussauds. Uh, with that shop is a crystal ball. Uh, find Madame Tussauds and you will find a crystal ball. Madame Tussauds, do uh, you know anything of her? I can't say I've ever heard of her myself. There's so many self-proclaimed soothsayers in Tarant. <clears throat> More likely, she's some fly-by-night gypsy out here to make a quick buck. But be careful. You never know what to expect from these nomads. Okay, I will do, dear lady. Thanks for the advice. I'll return later. Yeah. Okay, so... Let's see here. We're going to go take a note to Mrs. Hollister, I think it is. Electric light. I like the detail in this game. There's a... There's a lot of work that goes into the storyline in this game, that's for sure. A lot of work. Oh, I can actually talk to her through the through the window, I guess. Happy to meet you, Mrs. Hollister? Yes? Mr. Wright sent me. Mr. Wright? Oh, yes, the payment. Do you have a note? Yes, here you are. She examines the note. Yes, everything seems to be in order. Here's a little something for your trouble. Goodbye. Thank you, madam. All right, now back to the Mr. Um, newspaper Dude. And, oh my god, I'm real slow. Real slow. I'm gonna save that potion, though. What brings you about? I delivered the note to Mr. Salister. Well done. Here's the 75 coin, I promise. Thank you. Okay, I just hit level 7. So, so... We're gonna stop our um, our questing for now, and we're gonna go over here, and we're going to pick up the main quest for a little bit. So I'm gonna sideline Jaina. You think here? Not forgetting anything, right? Yeah, I think we're fine. There is a question of do I have enough healing, though? I may or may not. I think I might be okay, actually, at this point, as far as the healing goes. Um, I'm not going to take any of that offer. Okay, we're going to tell her... Hold on. First of all, I'm going to... Tired of be, being dark. Advance time one day. No, that's wrong. That's wrong, that's wrong, that's wrong. Okay, advance time to morning. I'm tired of the darkness here. Okay. Then I'm going to tell her to... Wait for me. I'd like you to do something for me, Gina. I think you'd best... Uh, no, wait here a while. Okay, but try not to, do go, uh, to be too long, all right? Oh, I'll be a while, actually. Let's talk to Magnus. Hello. I don't believe we met. We met. Your name is? Who might you be to ask a dwarf his name? Bloody ignorant outlander, I'd say. As if a dwarf would give his name. <laughs> Pardon me, but even being a dwarf, I don't see the offense. Hmm. Well, I suppose there might be different traditions among different clans. Perhaps I've been a bit too quick-tempered. Please, call me Magnus. Pleasure, sir. Tell me more about this belief you have. Well, dwarves are an ancient race, and our traditions run deep. A dwarf's true name, his family name, is a sacred thing, a thing of mystery and power. Magnus is my common name. If I knew you well, I'd also tell you my family name. But Magnus will do for now. Why are you so protective of your family name? Dwarven names are symbolic, a reflection of our history, who we are. A dwarf who gives just anyone his name has no respect for that history. Thank you for sharing your some of your uh, clan's beliefs. Now perhaps I judged you too quickly, brother. Forgive me. Well met. Now may I help you? Might I ask you a few questions? What is it that you need to know? Do you know what establishment this is? Yes, I do. And I curse the day I ran across the devils who own it. Ungodly bunch they are. 
I can only guess what goes on behind those doors. That building is the headquarters for the infamous P. Skylar and Sons. Um, why are you loitering outside the store, Magnus? I might ask you the same, my friend. You seem awfully curious about P. Skylar and Sons. What brings you here? I'm investigating a ring. It appears they were the sellers. Interesting. I, too, am investigating one of their products. I saw it for sale in a pawn shop down the merchant's quarter, and it had their imprint. Would you like to see it? Yes, very much so. Dwarf so shows a rather plain-looking bronze bracelet with some faded scratchings barely visible along its outer surface. On the inside, you see the imprint. Peace, Schuler and Sons. Um, what are these carvings? I can't quite make them out. Don't you see? There, a cross. And there, a sunburst. All of these are old dwarven characters, symbols in a lost language. These are landmarks in my people's history, milestones for the dwarven age. Um, what do you think is significant about this blurt bracelet? Do you see these dwarven gauntlets I wear? They were given to me by my grandfather, who in turn received them from his. Do you see the symbol carved on them? It's the same as the symbol carved on the bracelet. These gauntlets are the only link I possess to my ancestors, my clan, lost to my family since before any of us can remember. Uh, have you spoken to Peace, Schuler, and Son about it? That, my friends, is the point of this whole story. I've tried on multiple occasions to speak with the Skylers concerning this bracelet and where they got it, but I've been stonewalled by their employees from the very beginning. They're hiding something. I know it! What could they possibly be trying to conceal? The sources behind their inventory. The reasons for their reclusiveness. Who knows? But I do know that I am going to find out where they got this bracelet, regardless of what is necessary to do so. Uh, I see. Perhaps we could work together? Hmm. Perhaps. I do see some potential in you, my friend. And you seem trustworthy. Done. Let us proceed and throw some light on this mystery. Okay, welcome aboard. All right, so first thing he's going to do is make me some freaking weaponry here. So Magnus is a character you can take all the way to the end of the game. Um, he's fine. I mean, he's, uh, he's a decent fighter. But he's a little bit of a goody two-shoes, and I'm not sure how much I want him with me because of that. Also, he's going to be competing for me with uh, gear because he's a dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Um, and I kind of want to steal his dwarven gauntlets off of him. I don't know. Do I want to... Do I want to keep this on? Yeah, I'll use the sword for now. I'm not really going to do much fighting in here, but if I do, I'm going to swing a sword, I guess. All right. Um, welcome to P. Schuler and Sons, dealers in rare and beautiful. My name is King James Kingsford. How might I help you? I'd like to talk to, with someone concerning this ring. What exactly can I help you with? Did you purchase the ring from P. Schuler and Sons? Not exactly. I was given the ring by uh, someone. Very sorry, we don't guarantee the quality of our products unless they were purchased directly from us. Now, if there's nothing else, I really must get back to my work. No, you don't understand. Perhaps if I spoke to Mr. Schuler? I'm afraid that's quite impossible. The Schulers are extremely busy men, and I know they can't be bothered with something as trivial as your concerns with a product you didn't even buy. But wait, I'm just trying to find out who... I'm so very glad you stopped by, though. Feel free to browse the store if you like. Have a good day. Hello. Uh, Mr. Kingsford, I recommend you let me in here. Your tone, this tone seems to concern him. Oh, really? On what grounds do you recommend that I let you in here? On the grounds that you're going to bleed otherwise. Do not take such treatment from you, sir. Defend yourself. Oh, you made the wrong choice, bro. You just let me in. Okay, I'm going to skip most of this by just running past it. I'm going to use my... This is me, right? Yeah. 
gonna use my haste potion here. Look, it's an ancient dwarven burial ground. Uh, all right. Um, we'll see how well this works. It should work. I can't believe what's been done here. It's a travesty. Okay, let's see if I can make it. Come on, baby. There you go. All right. Now we go back up, and hopefully, we win. Weapon dropped, of course. Okay. Well, oh, this is actually a nice helm. <laughs> Wait, did I get what I was... No, I didn't get it. Really? Okay, let me go... Maybe it's over here. And... Ah, well... Yeah, there's usually an emerald over there. For some reason, didn't show up this time. I gotta check this one. Ah, there's an... Well, there's an emerald. That wasn't... I was supposed to get two in here, but that didn't happen. Poisoned. They're using dwarf and zombies to do this grisly work. These truly are my lost people. And their resting place has been desecrated. Magnus, are you sure these dwarfs look strange? Strange? Of course they look strange. They've been raised from the dead to work as mindless laborers. You'd look strange too if somebody did the same to you. When I find out who's responsible, there's a price that's going to be paid. Uh, I'm with you, Magnus. Something has to be done. Good. Then I can count on you to fight by my side. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Huh. Okay, so I did get two emeralds. I need emeralds later, I think. Or maybe I don't. I don't remember. I always pick them up. I'm not sure why. <laughs> maybe I don't need them for later. I don't remember. Okay, so let's do some healing first. Dog. You need to be healed a little bit. I will heal Magnus just a tad, because these guys can actually be fairly dangerous, believe it or not. Okay, Doc, I think everybody's healed enough. Um, i definitely going to want to save here. There's a long dialogue path I'm going to take. I have to take a certain dialogue path to get a fate point, and I have to have Magnus in my party at the same time. That's why I'm taking Magnus down here, otherwise I would have just killed him off. Or uh, just you know, stripped him bare and taken his stuff and then left him. Um, but, like I said, I need him to get a fate point, and also I have to go through the dialogue in a specific order here. So, um, and fate points are, are very useful. What? Who are you to trespass in the halls of our business establishment? Identify yourself immediately. Um, I think after what I've seen, you'd better identify yourself. I'll be the one demanding answers around here. You're obviously, you have obviously no idea what you've stumbled into, and your situation is only worsening. Why not? Why? I'm not going to ask again. Why are you here? Um, okay, I'm desperate, uh, in desperate need of some information. Information? You violated our home and our business out of the need for some information. That's utterly preposterous. Uh, I'm sure you, I can assure you that it's the of the utmost importance. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, or I'll be just the judge of what's important in my own home. What could you possibly need to know that justifies this outrage? I need you to find out the identity of, identity of one of your clients. Impossible. Even if you were here on legitimate business, we at P. Schuler and Sons would never betray the confidentiality, uh, confidentiality of our clients to even think of such a thing. Um, as if this freak show has every, anything to do with legitimacy. You break into my home, and then you have the gall to insult me. Do you have any idea of the powers that I can bring to bear against you, stranger? Dark r rivers of twisted image and dream, fragments of night fear, the frayed and tattered screams in the desperate of the damned. Um, I see. Perhaps you should tell me who you are. I'll be the one to... Oh, okay. I'll be the one demanding answers around here. You obviously... Okay, uh, fine. Please take a look at this ring. Show him the ring. Ah, yes, it's a signet ring, and these letters GB, more likely than they belong to the individual who purchased the ring from us. 
I guess as much. Could you tell me the identity of the owner? Well, it seems as if we are across most roads, my friend. We, the Schuler family, have been in business for more than 400 years. Never once in all that time have we betrayed the trust of a customer. And yet here you are, and you so much you've seen. Uh, but what have I seen? What exactly is going down, on down here? I suppose it does no harm in telling you now. I'm Winston Schuler, and these are my brothers, Edward and Niles. The Schuler's name is an old name. Uh, one of the oldest families in all of Arcanum. We've traced our bloodlines back to the Age of Legends and further. And always, from the very beginning, we have practiced the Dark Arts. What, do you, what exactly do you mean by the Darker Arts? Necromancy, my curious friend. Conjuring of spirits, phantasmal speaking, the animation of the incredibly dead, or uncurably dead. The Schulers are a family who spent their time in the Twilight Lands, cowled in death and shadow. Um, I see. That explains the dwarf zombies. They're your work? Yes. It's not as cruel as you might think. The bodies are long past usefulness to anyone. They are spiritless and proper good for digging. And with the bounty we've discovered here in this dwarven tomb, they've been extremely useful. Um, and you built your store over this dwarven tomb? Yes, we discovered the tomb more than 150 years ago, before Turan had become such a great city. And so our family left their home in Old Caledon and moved here. We weren't sad to leave there. Some of the locals had begun to become suspicious of our activities. Uh, no offense, but I can see why they might be a little leery. Sadly, I can see your point. The world, for one such as us, uh, is becoming smaller. So we few... So few people remember the old ways when magic was a part of everything and everyone. There was a time when we were legitimate businessmen and no one blinked an eye at our operations. Uh, it seems, as you said, we are at a crossroads. Where, where to go? Yes, where? I have something you need and you hold something of ours as well. Well, our anonymity. We are hurting no one here. The spirits of these dwarves are long gone and we owe the land, own the land upon which, which this tomb rests. Um... Don't you think that the dwarves might consider this heinous? This tomb is from a clan long forgotten. The very fact that it lies here in the lowlands and not in the mountains says that they were more likely considered lesser dwarven people. In fact, it's strong possibility that they were outcasts. You know, a dwarf's true home is always in the hand-carved caverns of the mountain stone. Well, I'm convinced. Maybe we can come to an agreement. Yes, I think that's just as... That might just be possible. If you agree to tell no one about our business operations, I'll find out for you who owns this ring. Are we agreed? Agreed. How dare you speak of treaties with these creatures? Will you ignore the crimes they have committed against my people? Does the friendship I've offered you mean anything? Magnus, please, let's think about this. Fine. If I must, I will fight them, even alone. But I ask you one last time, please... Join me against these monsters, and help me to avenge my people. We fought together as brothers, as friends. I've bled with you. Don't turn on me now. You're right. What was I thinking? Attack! <laughs> Alright, good. Thank God that that didn't go wrong there. <laughs> okay, and you see I got another fate point. You have to go, you have to have Magnus in your party and go through that um, dialogue in a specific way first, or, um, or else you get nothing. Okay, telegram. To P. Schuler and Son, stop. Please accept this telegram as my commitment for pay payment of the signet ring I had made for my son, Gilbert Bates. Stop. Payment has been wired as per your instructions. I will arrive in Tarrant as, uh, in two weeks to pick up the ring. Stop. Sincerely, Benjamin Bates, stop. Okay, so that proves that Gilbert Bates is connected to this ring. So we've got to go talk to him now. And actually, this is all that I need from this place. So let's just get out of here. We're going to uh, just warp out. And hold on, I'm just going to check my inventory here. I can't really make much use of this helm. Actually, if this helm were identified, I think this is a really good helm for a magic user. I'm not sure if I'm going to have any magic users with me, though, is the problem. Mm, should I sell this helm? I think I'm going to sell the helm. I think it's like an arcane helm. Oh, 
man. I want to see the stats on this helm. I think it's a pretty good helm. Like, that was really unusual that I would have gotten that helm there. Where is the, uh... Oh, I'd have to walk way over there. Nah, you know what? I'm selling the helm. I'm selling the helm. I don't really... You know what? I'm not going to sell the helm. I can't I can't help it. I think this is like one of the best helms in the game. I'm not sure, but um, I'm going to keep it. Not selling the helm. All right, let's go back get uh, let's go back and get Jaina's styles. We're going to dump Magnus. <sighs> Magnus is not a bad character. Um, it's just that I don't have room for many characters and he's not really what I have in mind. So uh, yeah, we're going to dump him. First, before we dump him, we're going to take all his good crap. Including his mysterious dwarven gauntlets, which are the only type of their kind in the game. What are you doing? Those are mine. My grandfather gave me those. They're my only connection to my lost clan. Give them back right now. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll just keep them for a while, Magnus. Outlanders, never any respect for another dwarf's property. How can I help you? But I wasn't done looting you, dude. There you go. And I'll, I will actually give you, um, I will actually not leave you naked out here. I'll give you my How suit. How can I help you? There you go. All right, now I'm going to leave How can you. I help you? Um, I'd like to what use something like for me. me. Leave the group. <sighs> As if I wanted to travel with an ignorant outlander like you, anyhow. Well, perhaps we'll meet again. Good day to you, sir. Oh, I am naked. Why am I naked? Stop waiting, Jaina. Alright, so we get Jaina back in our party. Guess what? These don't say it, but they add a total of four stat points to your character, which is freaking amazing. So you can see here, um, my strength was nine, my constitution was nine, and my dexterity was seven. I've got nine dex, ten constitution, ten strength now. So... That's like, that's probably, I mean, as far as stat points go, I don't think there's any other item that comes close to that in the game. There's plus three. Yeah, that's... Ah, yeah, I think that's that's the um, highest amount of stats you get from an item in the game, so that's pretty good. All right, anyway, you get uh, swords. You keep the extra swords. Um... What do we want to do now? I'm actually going to give you that. Well, no, I'm going to take that myself. She's going to wear the helm is the problem if I give her the helm. I don't want to give her the nah, I'm not going to give her the helm. Okay. All right, so that was Gilbert Bates. Um, we need to go see him. I'm trying to think if I want to do that now or if I want to wait. I've got some more things that I need to do here. Let's go do some more things that uh, let's go let's go get some more money. We're running out of money. So this is gonna be the other cheese point in the game. Brace yourselves. I know what you guys are gonna say about this. But I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it quick. It's gonna be quick and painful. Alright, first of all, let me get some uh, some stuff here. Um, let's see, exit, scroll of exit, scroll of exit, scroll of... You know what? Okay. We need to go with the other character, because the other character is the one that I'm going to loot here. So, but the other character only comes out at night. There's two magicians in here that sell magic items, and I want to talk to the dark magic character. There she is. Can you train me to be... No, I don't need either of those. Okay. What do you have to buy or sell? Okay. I'm going to get some potions of haste off her. Um, I'm going to get liquid skin thickening off of her. Scroll of exiting, scroll of exiting. Um, Alright, we're going to let her restock. Ready to get some more haste potions. I want to get... There's a couple of things I want to get off this character. Um, I'm going to want to get... 
Ah! But it's costing too much, damn it. Um, I don't, I'm not sure. Can I have 52 points? I could sell a couple of... Do I need those emeralds or not? I don't remember. You will not buy that. Well, she has that Reaper's Axe. That's that's actually what I did want. And uh, now I don't have any money. <laughs> Hold on, I'm seeing if I could just chuck some stuff here or not. The things that I could sell, I don't know if I want to sell. Okay, well, if I do sell that, would I have enough? I'm not sure if I would have enough anyway. She literally won't buy anything back that she sold me. That's pretty stingy, if you ask me. Okay, maybe not. Well, I guess we'll get the Reaper's Axe. This is a good place to get the Reaper's Axe is the problem. I'm going to go get some more money. So next time the Reaper's Axe does appear, I can actually get it. Let me see if I can... Um, let's see here. Where can, where can I get some... I think I could get some early money over here. Easy money. I sell something from Jaina. I think I could sell some, some of my stuff over here. What, what kind of stuff do you take? I thought that you... I thought that you bought those coins. Boy. Stingy. Oh, he, he'll, he'll buy the helm, though. Oh, I don't know. I hate to get rid of that damn helm. Because I know I'm never going to come across that helm ever again in my life. Oh, well. I'll sell it. Alright. There we go. That gets me the money I needed. If I see the Reaper's Axe next. Because that's a... that's a, that's a, The Reaper's Axe is... You can have a... It can be hard to find. Um, so... Picking it up when I can is convenient. I don't want to spend a time... Like, time late in the game where I'm like, I can't get a Reaper's Axe and I killed everybody that sells it. Okay, I'm just going to wait until she spawns a Reaper's Axe. Again, it shouldn't take long. It's either her, or I can also get one from the uh, Gypsy Lady. But I think the Gypsy Lady is a lot less likely to spawn one. Oh, okay, well... Now she's not going to spawn one, right? It doesn't matter. She's stocking up gold here, which I'm going to take. So, And believe it or not, I'm probably going to blow through it all, no matter how much she gives me. Come on. There it is. Okay, got it. All right, and what else do you got? Um, I'm looking for Dominate Will. And, alright, I'm going to reload until she gets a Dominate Will. Or, um, wait until she gets Dominate Will here. And then we're going to murder her. Nope. Okay. I'm not sure what the chance is to spawn that. Um, it doesn't seem to be too rare. I've seen it quite, quite on occasion here. Nightmare. Nope. Dominate Will is very important for getting me charged rings. Well, let me, let me put it this way. I could get the charged rings normally... Like, but I'd have to wait a long time. I'd have to get, I'd have to wait to be like level thirty when I could hire Sebastian to make me the charge rings. I'm not going to put a point in 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 that schematic or that um, that tech because that's a waste of a point as far as I'm concerned. Because I can get them through dominating um, Sebastian. <laughs> ah, there it is. She got okay. Good. We got it. All right. Cool. 
We got it. All right, cool. Now we start with the murder. This is going to be interesting because we, I mean, I could, okay, I could do this by just attacking, right? That's not how I like to do things. It, particularly because I'm, I'm a lot weaker than she is right now. Um, so first of all, remember that we had three dynamite. Now, you may not have known this, but you can kind of plant dynamite through a wall for some reason. So, that dynamite is not for her. That's for her pet over there that's guarding the chest. You see that? The Baleful Hound. That should take him out. Okay. Because if I kill her and then get in there, that thing's going to attack me, and I'm probably not strong enough to defeat that. So, that takes care of that one. Now... Like I say, we could just attack her, but then then the, the entire shop... I don't want to make the rest of the shop mad. I only want to kill her and take her stuff. So... It's like... If you plant dynamite... If, 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 we, if we directly attack her, then the whole shop will get mad at us. Um, so the question is how to do this. And I found a way to do this. We can plant dynamite on her just like we did with the Baleful Hound... But the problem is, is that she's not close enough to the wall. So we've got to get her close to the wall. So the reason... And you're going to see me use this trick again later. Um, we're going to throw one gold piece on the ground. And being the greedy bastard that these guys are, she will go over there to pick that up. And then I will get in her way so she can't get to her original spot. And she'll be closer to the wall. Or at least we're going to try it. Go on. Some shiny gold. Here you go. There we go. <laughs> now she's close enough to the wall that we can actually damage her <laughs> with a with a um, a dynamite planted through the wall there. And uh, hopefully it only takes one to kill her. But if not, we have we have another one. It's just kind of a a luck thing as to whether or not this kills her first shot. Okay, didn't kill her. Okay, so we're going to have to use the other one then. None the wiser. She's still standing there, like a fool. Like, hmm, wonder what that was. Oh, well. Hurt a little bit. There we go. Now she's dead. <laughs> Alright, now the good thing about this lady, she has a scroll of teleportation, which is so nice early. And she also has 33,000 gold. And that's pretty nice too. And then she has a major staff. Ashen robes don't sell for anything, so I'm gonna just going to totally um, ignore that. Um, the mage staff is... I'm going to be using that at a particular point in the game. Not, not for very long, but uh, because I have that huge dwarven, dwarven uh, stamina penalty for my spells... Um, the mage staff is going to come in handy for when I originally uh, get teleport myself. Okay, so... Uh, so now I've got to open the chest. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to start start uh, shooting it. And I'm far enough away that it's not, it's not alerting anybody. It's going to take a little while because that chest has a lot of... Um, a lot of hit points, basically. I'm just going to quaff a, a potion of uh, speed there to make this a little bit faster, but... Um, I mean, it could take the rest of my guys in here and help out, but uh, the, le the fewer guys that there are in here doing this, the less likely it's going to attract attention. I'm not going to do something like use a fate point to open it with lockpick, because that's a waste of a fate point when I can just do it like this. Okay, now I get access to all that stuff that she had. Dominate Will. Basically, all of these I can sell for even more money. 
And then some of this stuff I want to get anyway. Fated Ring. I don't have Virgil anymore, so that's really not going to do any good. Um, let's see. Dorian Amulet. I don't, I don't... That might... I don't remember if that sells for anything. It might or might not. Um, Gilliam's Helm. I think a lot of this stuff won't sell for much. Is there a Staff of Healing? Major Healing here. I don't remember if this stuff sells for anything. I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I think this stuff doesn't really sell for anything. So, there you go. Alright, now we're just going to pretend like nothing happened. Stop waiting. Stop waiting. Advance time till morning. That other guy is going to come through there. And if everything went right, you'll be like not even aware of what happened there. Go away, dwarf. I don't need your aggravation. Let's barter. <laughs> okay, so totally got away with that. Controlled beast. No. Polymorph. No. Shrink. I think shrink is used somewhere. I'm going to keep it. Uh, fire flash. No. Uh, exiting lightning bolt. Resurrect. Yeah, resurrect. I've got other ways to resurrect that uh, doesn't have a magical failure. Uh, I'm going to sell resurrect. Divine magic. Oh. Damn. Okay, I'm going to sell it. I, I, I'm remembering back to the fact that I had that helm there. Okay. Um, did you have anything that I wanted? Yes, you did. Two of those. I'll take that, and I'll take that. And uh, we're going to advance time one day. Okay, so she ran out of money, or he ran out of money, basically. Okay, so Body of Fire, Cell... All these are scrolls of exiting. I'm going to keep those. Oh, Wall of Fire. I'm going to sell that. I'm definitely keeping the scroll of teleportation. Okay, you do buy that. Nice. Oh, you do buy that, too. Okay, that was a pretty good deal. All right, so now I have 44,000, and that... It sounds like a lot, but it's probably going to go pretty fast, regardless. Morgana Tears. I'm loaded, so why not? I'm just going to see if she has anything in... Or he has anything. Tempest Fugit. Um, I'm going to take that. That's useful. That's very useful. Scroll of Hasten. I'm going to take that. That's useful. Scroll of Hasten can be combined with um, Haste Potions and Tempest F F Fugit. Oh, it's just got another one. Or no, wait. No, that was in my inventory. Sorry. Resurrect. Exodines. Oh, Sense Invisible Traps. Nah, I'm going to say no. Might be useful. I was actually looking for that in a practice run. but um, Nah, actually, nah, I'm not going to worry about that. All right. But um, got a couple of neat things for me to level with, though. That's, that's good. Um, I'm worth that. Want another one of those. We're going to need those uh, intellect potions. Let's see. Regenerate. How many of these? I'm going to buy another scroll of exiting. Another scroll of exiting. We, we're going to be using a lot of those. Major healing. Divine magic. How many of these? How many of these do I have? Seven? Not enough, to be honest. We're going to be burning through so many of those. It's incredible. Let's get a few more. We have most of what we need for now, but... Addicted to those haste potions. Jelly Charm Beast, Exidine. I'll take another exit. And another exit. Like I said, we're going to be using all of those. Um, I don't know. These Morgana Tears probably won't affect me too much. I'm going to take it anyway. Okay. There we go. Alright, now what do we need to do? So... 
we restocked our money. Now, what do we need to do? Do we want to go talk to Gilbert Bates? I think we do, don't we? Let's go do that, because we're actually pretty close to where he's at. Let's go. Okay, talk to this guy. Uh, whose house might this be? Gilbert Bates, the industrialist, lives here. I need to gain an audience with Mr. Bates. That's not possible. Mr. Bates sees no one, especially now with a recent attempt on his life. Attempt on his life? Mr. Bates was attacked by his, in his study by some fanatic. Thank God Chuka was, uh, was there to snap the intruder's neck before he could do any harm. Is there some way I could see him? Well, we've been having some problems with the saboteurs in the factory. If you could take care of them, I'm sure Mr. Bates would want to thank you personally. Pique my interest. What else can you tell me? Not much, really. The usual, they usually strike in the middle of the night sometime after midnight. We've lost several guards uh, we've sent in there to stop them. I'll take care of them. Yeah, good luck. The factory is located at the tail end, uh, tail end of Ten Hands Alley. Here's the key. The guards will be expecting you. Come back here when you have dispatched them, and I will let you in to see Mr. Bates. All right. Okay, so... Do I want to do this now? I think I'll do this now. I don't think I have to talk to this guy. I think I just wait in here. evening and then advance another four hours to midnight. Did I? I think I had a critical failure. Uh, you know what? Might be time to offload that onto somebody else and start using this. I'm gonna give her that gun. Oh, I don't have any way to heal myself, do I? You know what? I'm just going to heal people like this here. Yeah, that heals the dog fine. Does this heal me? Oh, it heals me still. Okay, so my tech aptitude is... Um... Oh, yeah, it's like hovering at 50-50. We're good. Uh, let's wait till morning. Okay, we did that. We don't need to talk to this guy. What we need to do is go down here because there's something we... There's a painting here that we need to find. Okay, this guy... We're just going to... We're just going to fight him. He's a bad guy. Don't worry. Even if it wasn't, don't worry. Because we don't care. Okay. Fits perfectly in my inventory. Then after that, we need to go talk to this dude. The, um... Graveyard dude. Hello, how do you do? I don't believe we had the pleasure. Who are you? My name's Joseph. I'm the stonecutter here in Tarant. I make headstones and such. Jared sent me. His girl has died. He needs you... He needs a headstone. Oh, how sad. I'll be sure to stop by later and ask him and speak to him about it. Thank you. Let's take my leave. Okay, cool. That's that. Uh, let's go off another speed potion here. I'm gonna go talk to Gilbert Bates. I I have removed the saboteurs that have been plaguing you. Thank God, I thought we would never be rid of them. Please go inside. Mr. Bates will be anxious to thank you. Most generous. All right. Now, well, I don't know if I should explain this now, but Gilbert Bates, obviously this, this sounds a lot like Bill Gates, doesn't it? Um, the, the gist of the story here is Gilbert Bates was a human that got friendly with dwarves and learned from dwarves their technology and kind of stole that technology and came back to the human human world to become you know a famous millionaire because he used this technology he kind of lifted from the dwarves kind of like somebody in real life you know bill gates 
I don't know, kind of, I think bought like MS-DOS or something like that, really didn't know anything about, he, he wasn't really like um, a, a competent programmer himself, he just kind of lifted stuff from other people and then sold it, that's, that, that's kind of what this is getting, to, this is um, referencing here, for those of you who uh, were unaware, anyway. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Gilbert Bates, as I'm sure you have surmised. I'd like to extend my thanks to you, sir, for putting an end to the difficulties at my factory. I've been informed that there is a matter you wish to discuss. Quite so. I'd like to ask about this ring. Great gods! How did you come by that ring? Strange-looking gnome gave it to me as he lay dying. Strange? Whatever do you mean, pray tell? Gnomes have those beady eyes, but his were strong, dwarf-like. Are you sure it wasn't a dwarf, then? No beard. We would sooner slit our throats than cut our beards. Yes, I, I am familiar with the dwarves and their customs. Tell me, was there anything distinctive about this fellow? He had a scar over his left eye. Aye, Alberic, I knew it in my heart. That was no gnome. It was Stena Rockcutter. Um, let's see. Who's Stenner? A dwarf would have never cut his beard. Stenner was an old friend of mine. But for him to cut off his beard, by the gods, it's unthinkable! But please, tell me, did he say anything to you before he died? Did he say anything about... about me? Said he escaped to warn us about the evil. The evil? What evil? And where did he escape from? I didn't say. He was hoping... Uh, I was hoping you would know what he meant. Something horrible must have happened after I... After I... Did he s say anything else? He referred to you as a boy. Why would he do that? I do not know. Even though dwarves reckon time differently than humans, he must have realized that I am now an old man. Perhaps it is because I was but a boy when I... When I betrayed his trust all those years ago. How did you come to betray him? That... that is quite the long tale. A tale of my shame, it is. I'm listening. It is ironic that my greatest mistake is that which brought me such wealth. As a youth, I was enamored of all things dwarven. So I sought out the nearest clan and attempted to impress them with my grasp of their technology. They laughed. It was obviously a novelty to them. A ridiculous human who had a natural bent towards technology. I suppose it didn't help that I was a mere 14 years old at the time. I became something they humored to entertain themselves. Stenar was the only one who truly called me friend in all those years. And betrayal is how I repaid his friendship. It was he who first showed me their steam engine, as he knew I could appreciate the beautiful intricacies of its design. They had left it to rust in a corner, as they had very little use for the device that would reduce the need for sheer physical power. Imagine a dwarf relying on a device to do his digging for him. It's preposterous. I asked him if I could tinker with it. Perhaps improve on it, as I knew this was the key to becoming truly a part of the dwarven world. I quickly devised a way to use it to power a pump for draining the mines. When I fell all over myself trying to explain it to them, laughter was once again their only response. I knew I had to somehow gain their respect, so I hastily sketched some schematics and set out to prove my theory. The struggling human mining company that I brought the plans to offered me a share in their mines for the steam pump. I was ecstatic. I had not a care for their mines or their money. I desired vindication. When I returned to the dwarves to boast of my accomplishments and be welcomed into their clan, they were gone. The inventions came quickly after that, fueled by my anger and confusion. How could they have denied me my place amongst them after all my labors? Somehow I felt I could still prove myself to them. I continued searching for them in all my spare moments, but to no avail. But then they came. 
The robed ones. They appeared to me late one night, and they warned me to never speak of, nor try to find the dwarves again. Still being a mere lad, you can imagine the terror that put into me. As my wealth and power grew, I shook off some of my youthful fear, and hired the first in a long chain of investigators to locate Stenar and his clan. None of them ever returned with any worthwhile information, and some never returned at all. The ones that did told of vicious traps and creatures attacking them from the shadows. As word of these failures spread, it became more and more difficult to find souls brave enough to take on the challenge. But why did he send me here with your ring? He knew that ring would lend veracity to your tale. I gave Stenner that ring the last time I saw him. Now he is dead. If only we knew what he meant by the evil. I met a Panari acolyte who thought it was some religious, had some religious meaning. I don't put much stock in religious ramblings myself. But if you feel it could help you to get more information on the Panari, you should go to their temple on the northern end of Lion's Head Circle. I'm more concerned with who killed Stenner and why, and what all this has to do with my relationship with the Black Mountain Clan. So what is to be done now? There must be some clue left in the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain of this. You seem to be a resourceful individual. Would you be interested in searching the mines for some clue as to their whereabouts? I would make it worth your while, I can assure you. I'm anxious to solve this conundrum as well, I accept. Splendid! Here, let me mark your map with the location of the Black Mountain Mines. I am certain there must be some clues to be found there. Please, return as soon as you have found anything. I shall return with the information you've requested. Oh, uh, one more thing. I would like to purchase my ring back from you. I'd give you two hundred coins... It would mean quite a bit to me. My father gave it to me before he died. Uh, certainly, here it is. Much obliged. I will speak with you when you return. All right, I'll be leaving now. Okay, cool. So, uh, we've got a little bit more to do around here. Got to go to the temple. Let's go ahead and... Uh... There's another haste potion here. <clears throat> I'm not doing all the quests in Tarant, but I'm doing a fair amount of them. Like I said, just enough quests to kind of get me over the hump so where I can um, start leveling. You know, start grinding, basically. Alright, so this is the Panari Temple, I believe you told me about. What can you tell me about the Panari? The Panari Church is based on the teachings of Nazdarin, an elf who lived during the Age of Legends. As head of the Elven Council, Nazdarin acted as a guide for all the races until the rise of Aranax and his followers. Nazdarin waged war and Aranax was defeated. The Panari Church was founded some time after that. Um, let's see, may I ask you a few more questions about the Panari? You can tell me of Nazdarin. Nazdarin was the benevolent leader, leader of the Elven Council. For over a thousand years, he ruled our, all of Arcanum and brought peace and prosperity to all the races. His teachings are recorded in the sacred Arc Archeon and are the cornerstone of all the Pranari beliefs. Um, are there any prophecies that he will return? Yes, it's called the Prophecy of the Living One. It's written in the Archeon uh, that... Day, one day, both Nazarin and Arax will return to Arcanum and fight the final battle. I don't understand. Isn't Nazarin dead? Yes, he's been dead for a long time. The literal meaning of the prophecy is unknown, but many believe that they will both be reincarnated or that the prophecy is a metaphor for something more contemporary. The truth is, we just don't know. Who is Arax? Aranax was an evil elf who came into the power he came into power during the Age of Legends. He believed that only he and his followers were fit to rule and decreed death to all the races. Nazdarin, in his mercy, came to our defense, and I quote from the Archeon, defeated Aranax, banishing him forever to the void. Hmm. What do you mean he was banished? 
We're not quite sure. Banishments no longer happen. We believe that it took uh, powerful magic to do so, and once banished, the per person never returned. But Archeon spe uh, but the Archeon speaks of it, and so we believe. Has anyone else ever been banished? Yes, the Archeon speaks of others who suffered the same fate as Aranax. There are four who are listed by name. Gorgoth, Krakatur, Kergan, and the Bane of Kree. They were all evil beings, and no, uh, but none so evil as Aranax. If you ever see the Archeon, you can read more about them. What is the Archeon? The sacred book of the Nazarene's teachings. It's in the house of the first temple of the Pranari in Kaladin. You could see it there. Um, a few more questions about the Pranari. Mm. What is the Age of Legends? The Age of Legends was a time between 1500 and 2000 years ago, a time when magic was a much more, uh, larger part of the world than it is today, before the mages left for Tula. It's a time of dragons and knights and kingdoms, a time of the Elven Council. Okay, more general questions. Um, I needed your services. Can you train me to be an apprentice and heal? No, okay. All right, never mind. Well, my friend, such useful information. Unfortunately, unfortunately, it is the case that we have to kill you, of course, as you can imagine. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> um, I'm going to haste the dog. This guy can be actually pretty dangerous. Oh. Okay. Oh, really? Do I have a res resurrection scroll? I probably didn't. Bull crap. The dog killed himself by attacking the fire What nonsense. Let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> okay. He has to be dead because um, he doesn't like it when I kill it when I um, try to break into his chest here. Sorry, dog. I'm trying to click on this. Okay. That is a... That's not the best necklace in the game for me, but it's an okay necklace. You know what? I'm going to get out of here before, because this is the scene of a crime here. So that gives me t plus two beauty, plus one charisma, and I need all the charisma I can get if I want to get like more than one follower. And no, no one ever, ever kills that I... No one cares that I killed that guy. What's my alignment? My alignment's still positive. Yeah, okay. Um, Hold on, let's do this, because I don't need to walk back there. Trying to remember, man. There's so many things to keep in my head about this game. Let's go talk to this lady. We found her painting. I'm happy to make your acquaintance again. Hello, Mrs. Gearsburg. Have you a moment? I have brought your painting back. Here it is. Wonderful, Chris. I'm so glad. I knew you were a man of good character. Here's your reward. Thank you, madam. Glad to be of service. I'm going to call the paper right now. The whole town will know by morning that you're a man who can get a job done. Appreciate your vote of confidence. All right. Now, there's a guy in here. I usually get his ring if I'm a magic user, but because I'm a tech user, I'm going to kind of just not do that because I wouldn't get a lot of benefit out of it for a while. Or, um, after a while, anyway. I don't know, I, I'd get some benefit off, off of it right now, but I'm not sure for how long that would last. I mean, if I'm looking to, to increase my... How many followers can I see? I have Charisma of four. I get five, six. I'd have to get two more Charisma. It's not going to happen for a while. I'm, I'm going to just... Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll, see if, we'll see if that'll ever come in handy. I'm probably going to be limited to one follower the whole game, but we'll see. Um, okay. We've got to get some healing stuff for Jaina and some other other things here. 
Elixir of Physical Prowess. And look at this. She sells... There's a, um, a non-magical item, Restore Life. So instead of, you know, lugging around uh, Resurrection Scrolls, I could just use this. This has no chance to fail, say, on a, um, on a tech user. So it's actually superior. Fuel... Yeah, you can see I'm already actually running out of money here. Let's give this to her. Give this to her. Um, that to her. Oh, she can't use those yet. What, what am I thinking? Um, this... Yep. Yeah. Um, we gotta load Jaina up with some healing potions, basically. Or healing potions, or whatever. Healing salves, I guess. And a few other things that I can get on her. This um, hopefully won't take too long. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of this, though, going into shops. Um, there's another Restore Life right there. I'm going to throw these on Jenna. She, you know, she could be weighed down. It doesn't really matter. Um, her cumbrance is already at medium there. Uh, um, where did that thing go? I can't find things in my inventory here. I know I bought it. I'm not seeing it, and I know I bought it. Whatever. I somehow... What the hell? Okay, it disappeared from my inventory. Whatever. Whatever you say, game. <laughs> so hopefully this money will last until I get to where I need to go here. Um, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay, that'll give me another... Another physical strength potion. Advance time one day. Mm -hmm. There's another one. Okay, nothing else. So Jane is useful for making... Uh, uh, I think it's a Lexer of Physical Prowess. And that can be turned into other things later. And we're going to make use of that. Let's just go ahead and give this to her and actually make these things this time. What can you make? Make that. And then you also want to make Lexer of Physical Prowess. Really? Really? I didn't like you. you have an extra one of those still. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we need um, several of those. They, they increase your strength by two, but they can also be combined with other stuff to make um, other things. And it's going to be incredibly useful. Later on. Not quite right now, but later on. Okay, trade goods. I'm not, not sure how many more of those I actually want. Miracle Cure. I'll learn it. I don't, I don't think I'm going to ever use that, but I like learning those uh, schematics. Whoops! I, I dropped those on the ground. Oh, great. Now where are they? I can't, like, open up what's and see what's on the ground, can I? Oh! You know what? I never knew there was an auto-sort. <laughs> I never knew there was an auto-sort this whole time! It's amazing! 
I just dropped those on the ground and now I can't pick them up. Oh man, she's overloaded so badly. I don't know. We might be at the at the limit of what she can kind of lug around here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I need that looking glass rifle anymore. I'll take that off for at least. I never knew you had an auto sort for your inventory. It's just like news to me. Played this game for years. Where's the freaking Dropped it on the ground. Don't know where it went. Okay, whatever. Alright, that's probably it for now. Alright, there we go. That's enough. It's enough of that. I gotta figure out where I gotta go from here. I still have one quest to do here, don't I? I wonder if I should sell this rifle. Probably better to stash it, huh? Hello, I've been expecting you, traveler. I'm here for the crystal ball, madame. She smiles darkly. Listen to me. Dolores Beston came to my shop not three days ago asking for her fortune. I told her, traveler, and here we are. We are all a part of what is to come, and it is you that must choose. Just tell me what's going on. Choose, coward, or I will choose for you. On which side will you fail? Mine or Dolores Bestens? Uh, I side with you. The fire in her eyes subsides. She whispers, very good. I believe you have chosen wisely, traveler. You may have the crystal ball, only I ask that you take it to Dolores and give it to her. Wait, I thought... Things aren't always as they seem, traveler. I uh, asked you to do this for me. Will you? What do I get in return? voice lowers and she whispers almost inaudibly there's gifts that I can bestow that go beyond the material realm you have to trust me traveler I will give you just payment I'll do it very well she hands you the crystal ball I wait for your return okay now I'm really overloaded again I'm gonna get another potion of haste here because I hate walking around slowly so I think this is the last quest we do Probably in this town. And um, we've gotten... Yeah, we've gotten to level 8. It's good enough. Good enough for what we need to do there. Gotten to level 8 and a bunch of money. Okay, it's a pleasure. Greetings, especially. May I, may I speak with you for a moment? Of course, I returned with the crystal ball. She looks surprised. That's well, that's just grand. Where'd you get it? Madame Tussaud, a medium in the warehouse district. Aha, the old crone. She knew absolutely nothing at all. I knew she was a fake from the very beginning. Sorry, what do you mean? Oh, if you must know, I heard rumors about her around town. People are saying that she could actually see the future. Rubbish. No one can really see anything. It's all an act. I lie to those old ladies all day long. I tell them exactly what they want to hear. So I went to this Madame Tussaud, and I told her I wanted to see my future. What did she say? She told me that a stranger would walk into my store one day, that he would be my death. Can you believe it? My death. So when I saw you come in here, you can imagine my surprise and my fears, of course. But don't you see the irony? You've gone and killed her. She was the one who needed to fear you, not me. I broke my own crystal ball just in case someone did show up. In the end, you kill her. And I get the crystal ball thrown in just for good measure. Ha! Huh, so much for old Madame Tussaud. I never said she was dead, Dolores. What? How did you get the ball? She gave it to me. I had to give it to you. Oh, I don't know. Please, take it away from me. It's a gift, Dolores, just for you. Hand it over to her. Okay. Now, you have to do that quest bef um, after you do the painting quest. Otherwise, Madame Tussaud will um, tell you where the painting is which I don't need, but if you do it, if you do the painting quest first, then she'll give you a bonus to your charisma, which is, is nice. I mean, not that nice for this character, but I mean, because I may never get even to eight charisma, we'll see. I probably, I, yeah, I probably could get to, yeah. 
yeah, I probably could, could get to 8 Charisma at least, I think. Like I said, we'll see. Welcome, Traveler. What may I help you see today? Greetings, Matatuso. Uh, I delivered the Crystal Ball. Dreadful visits, that. Yes, Dolores Beston tried to run from her fate. As uh, I always say, Traveler, the future is inevitable. Now, we had an agreement. Your payment would be nice. I see. Perhaps there's something else I can offer you. She so closes her eyes, waving her hand in front of her face. You feel something strange in the air, but otherwise feel nothing at all. There. What did you do? You'll find out in time. Trust me. You'll be happy when you find it. Thank you in advance. Good day to you. Okay, so, yeah. Raise my charisma by one. Which, uh, like I said, is... is I think I could get actually, now that I think about it, counting, I could get I could get three followers because I'll have, I'll be able to get expert persuasion, believe it or not, with some bonuses later. I'll have a total of eight, or maybe more than eight charisma. So that's two followers plus plus the expert persuasion. That's three followers. So actually, I could have quite a few followers if I want. I'm not sure if I want three followers, but it's possible. All right, so now... Hmm... <laughs> now... Um, I'm actually going to... I think I may go to the Vendigroth Ruins? Or... There's some other options here. I could also go to Caledon. I think... I think I might go to Caledon, and I'm going back here because I want to get a few more haste potions. But um, Caledon is—you're not supposed to get to it this early. But there's a few things that I can get there that would be really nice to have, and so I might go there right now. We will see. First thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to try and get some more haste potions because I feel like I'm running out. Um, and hell, I'll take these two. I don't really need intellect potions at this point. I need to park some of this junk. Caledon would be a good place to go, now that I think about it, because I need to go to Trant and offload some crap that's cluttering up my inventory and weighing me down right now. So I think we're going to Trant next, and then Caledon. And Caledon is... Yeah, I'm not supposed to be able to get to Caledon, but like I said, there's a couple of things that I can get early that will really help me out later. And um, also... Yeah. Well, basically that. Um, and actually being able... Like, opening Caledon up means that I can go there after that uh, via teleport. So... Yeah, you just, it's, I'm not, it, nothing I'm doing here breaks the storyline, thankfully. This game is pretty lenient with the, um, you know, you getting to places where you're not supposed to go yet early. <laughs> My god, I don't know why it takes you so long to walk out of here. Holy crap. That's, that's, like I said, I can't wait for teleport. That's something that I just, I've got to get. It's horrible walking here and there and uh, just not being able to teleport out when you want to. Look at how long it takes me just to get out of Tarant here. Sick. Okay, well, all right, anyway, this is a good place to save and stop the video, and we will pick up on this in the next video.